because I had a situation where I had a woman, we were, we were fuck buddies. And this was a chick who would, when she did come over, you know what I'm saying, for sex, she would do extra shit. You know what I'm saying? She would even bring me shit. Um, she was the type of woman that would be willing to cook me a meal and, and take me out on her dime and all that other shit. You know what I'm saying? So when she hit me up and, and was complaining about the fact that, you know, you don't take me out, uh, what's up with that? And I told her, point blank, that's not what we do. When I get horny, I call you up. If you're free, I step through. If you get horny, you call me up. If I'm free, I fall through. I'm like, that's it. That's what the fuck we do. Women don't get with guys as placeholders. Do you know how hard it is to get rid of a woman who actually likes you? Who actually respects you, actually loves you? Do you know how hard it is to get rid of that woman? And you're talking about some hypergamy? This is real simple. The reason why women treat you like shit, the reason why women got an attitude with you, the reason why women fucking diss you and disrespect you is because they never liked, loved, or respected you in the first place. Your whole story is cap, bro. Matter of fact, it's big cap. I'm gonna call you the Mad Hatter. What it is is you're lying. You you're, you're lying to yourself. That's why you can't make any progress, bro. When a woman meets a man that's valuable and knows who the fuck he is, she knows that she can never overpower a nigga with game or a real dude or or a man or a man of value or um and not even to say a man of value because that sounds too much like what other niggas be saying what i really mean is a man that knows his value when a woman is dealing with a man that knows his value she knows that she cannot overpower him so she ends up saying to herself well if i can't beat him i gotta join him but when a woman is in a room full of dudes that know they value, she knows that she has to submit. And if she don't submit, she got to get the fuck up out of the room. No matter what level she brings it to, how loud she get disrespectful or talks fast, you have to keep your cool. You have to keep it on your energy level. So if you want her to be submissive, you want her to be calmed down, you want her to bring it down a notch, you won't yell louder than her. Talk to her like this. You, yo, I don't do that. I don't know if you talk to people like that, but that's not how you're gonna talk to me. That's not that's not what I do. Now, if you wanna continue to do that, I will show you exactly where the door is. I will escort you out, tell you to have a nice trip, and send your ass right to the gulag. You'll be gone. I don't tolerate that from people in my life. For all you surface dwellers out there and shit, how, how does it how does it feel following all these motherfuckers on the other side of the streets? talking about don't do shit well if you ain't gonna do shit then why don't you do man shit don't run away from fear don't dwell in the past don't give away your power don't feel sorry for yourselves don't make the same mistakes over and over again don't worry about what people think about you why don't you do some man don'ts if you're gonna do a don't anyway grass eating lion it's sad to see so many men suffer from bitch assness and the women know there's such a such at an advantage with weak men they try to shut me up this is the part of being a man is standing on your squares understanding that nobody's going to move me i move mountains nobody's going to move me off my square they need to respect your word they need to be a shift in behavior when you get home they need to understand what the deal is when you're around them there's no such thing as compromise with men compromise you should be yeah, fucking at the all truck day. stop <laughs> all the day all day that's right. fucking, these uh, conversations are obviously yeah. too in depth they're too in depth with these bitches man what, what are we talking about you're a truck driver bitch I come in every state and I fuck hoes that's what I do <laughs> <laughs> you, you gonna be one of them or I'm gonna find one that will
And the thing is, if she if she got an issue, if she got an issue with you not having a place to stay, that means she ain't really feeling you. Um, respect to scary uh, scary Perry for the five dollars super chat. He says, "Salute to the real game no theory panel best show on Sunday." I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what leaving pussy on the table means because pussy, pussy's not valuable enough to be left on the table in the first place, in my opinion. Is exactly. I'll have Christmas lights back there, <laughs> and I'm <laughs> fucking true. bitches under the okay. light. The following program has rated M A N. It contains assertive men who are kings of their castles. Men who don't make excuses or blame women for everything that's going wrong in their lives. Men who don't make the game about women. Instead, they make the game about the man. So, if you're into theory or use soft, weak-ass words like hypergamy, red pill, no fap, be on your purpose, high-value man, or money, clothes, and status... Buddy, you're in the wrong place, and you need to go two doors down where the male cuddle parties and circle jerks are going on. This is a man's space. Since the fall of the PUA community back in 2007, most PUAs ran underground because they had nothing to offer. Content creator has become the hero today, dedicated to one single objective to declaw and defang any person who listens. They decided to join forces to create a cult and never giving those who listen a solution. It's all about clothes, cars, and money, deception, and manipulation. Indirect game, going your own way. They talk pills and plates, they complain they blame fake it till you make it i just don't get it a man doesn't need to lie to meet women he just needs to learn how to spit flavor in her eyes and in her ears Thanos broke down the game when he said as long as there are those who remember what was there will always be those who cannot accept what can be even in darkness a man can find light Sometimes the world doesn't need a group of fake heroes teaching lies. Sometimes the world needs a group of anti-heroes to bring balance, order and truth to the game. It's time to summon the authentic players of the game. It's time to summon the authentic players of the game. The authentic players of the game. Authentic players of the game. Let it be no confusion. This here is a movement. Leveling up, real talk, ain't no illusion. Helping all the men see the light, that's right. Only bringing the truth, you can't deny. That's the vibe, we gon' bring you the insight. Bring you the game plan. Show them we real men, we ain't never breaking. You know what I'm talking about, I know that you hear me. Yeah, yeah, this is real game, no theory. Let's go, real game, no theory. Here to make it happen. Teach men how to be men, now it's time to put in action. Taekwondo and K Zagging, we got miles in the building. Mr. 1950 and Steve the Dean Williams, Mr. Lucario and the anti-villains, we gotta keep it real, this ain't about hurt feelings, uh, speak the truth, gotta say it loud so you hear me, real game, no theory, they don't want you to be who you destined to be, real men are necessary, not accepting defeat, talking the man mindset, uh, and this is the time now, we will never fold, never fall off a bow down, time to make it happen, we ain't even so many don't take accountability for their actions I gotta say it louder If you don't really hear me Speaking the truth, this is real game No theory uh. Alright, we in the building Yeah <laughs> Shout out to King Dre in the building What's going on? What's going on? Oh shit, what's going on Dre? Motherfucking Dre well, hey, let's, let's, hey, let's bring him in Dre, tell him about yourself dog can't hear you, can't hear you. You on mute, you on mute, bro. You on mute. There you go, DJ, you on mute, dog. Okay, okay, what's up, what's up? It's your gracious <laughs> game advisor. I'm Captain Saber, bro, not Captain <laughs> Saber, ho. Playerism is the antidote to all bullshit, feminism, mm-hmm. all that shit y'all complaining about. You know, it's seeing you, not on you. Thanks. I'm here, appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all for having me. Appreciate y'all oh, for yeah, having man. me. All right, Good Miles day. Cunningham up, dog. Miles, you up, dog. Hey, listen, uh, drizzle, drizzle, uh, we got, <laughs> uh, 
just as men, we got to raise our standards and uh, we got to bathe ourselves with luxury soap because we're in our luxury soap guy era. You feel me? We need that luxury. Uh, drizzle, drizzle. And we get the, the gold plated condoms. You get what I'm saying? You know, them niggas, you know, them niggas can't wear that. <laughs> you know them niggas can't wear that. <laughs> but you know, happy to be here, man. Um, you know, it, you know, it's another Sunday, great day for game, and appreciate the panel. Shout out to Dre for coming through. Uh, shout out to K Zag as well. You know, uh, shout out to the panel overall and the chat. Let's get these calls. Let's do it, man. It's your boy Miles Cunningham. Fib, drizzle, drizzle, fib, drizzle, drizzle. Hey man, shout out, shout, shout out. Hey, drizzle, drizzle, sound kind of feminine too, nigga. Men yeah. <laughs> don't get nothing drizzled on them. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to the Silverbacks, man. Silverback. Out here, man. Yeah. I'm gonna get it, y'all, man. Hey, another thing, real quick, man. I got a promotion coming up, man, for the membership, man. Y'all watch out for that. It launches next week. Yes, yes. All right, All right. right man. Uh, CD Williams, guys, make sure y'all get your crayons out, ask questions. You're right. It should be drizzle, drizzle, be tappy that ass, 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 ass. <laughs> <laughs> these, niggas, these niggas is not tapping these, these bitches' ass. Shout out to everybody. What's popping? Uh, you know, and shout out to King Dre coming through because and and guys, King Dre is on the Game Kings Two documentary, yeah. so uh, yeah. y'all, y'all, y'all gotta re- get ready for that because the Game Kings Two is fire. You feel what I'm saying? But shout out to everybody in the chat, shout out to everybody in the building. Let's go, let's make it happen. His broke ass internet is finally working. What's up, Zach? Man, it, was, it, was, it was not the internet. Don't front. <laughs> All right, man. What's up, man? I did have some technical difficulties, but it wasn't the internet, though. Uh, <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> All right. Well, it was Zach. Said, go ahead and play the video, dog. Yeah, man. Let's, let's go. All right. Let's go ahead and play this video real quick, and then we're going to chop up the game. Here we go, guys. With women. I don't give a fuck about if women are right or wrong. Wait, whose internet is fucked up? Man, at what point did men want to argue with women to prove them that they're wrong? We all know that women are wrong. Like, what the fuck? Like, we're right. They're wrong. Point blank, period. Yeah, they got hoe ways. Yeah, they do some bullshit. Yes, they using niggas for money. Yes, they have their fucking head up their ass. We know this, but what the fuck do we, what do we care for? Why are we worrying about what women do? It's because niggas ain't get enough pussy. They're fucking women. Women gossip and talk. That's not what we do, nigga. When I'm in a relationship, I don't argue with this woman. I be like, all right, whatever. I won. I my eyes, I won because she gonna shut the fuck up because there's nobody arguing back with her. How you gonna get someone to argue with you if you ain't arguing back? All right, let's get it, guys. Let's get it. Right, let me let me say this. Okay, I want guys to understand, and I, I said this before. Um, when you when you argue with women, when a woman is always questioning your decision making, that's her rejecting your leadership. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now we can have this. Oh yeah. And let me just point this out and pass it to y'all. There's three types of disagreements, right? Misunderstandings, which all you all you need to do is provide women clarity when there's a misunderstanding. Then there's negotiables, which basically you're compromising with the woman. 50, we don't do that. We don't believe in compromise, right? Mm-hmm. Then there's non-negotiables where you basically just tell the woman, this is what we're doing. That's it. There's no discussion to be had. Now, I think this is where the arguments happen, right? Because the woman is upset because she can't get her way. Now, if your woman is arguing with you because she can't get her way, Obviously, she doesn't respect your decision-making ability. And for a man, it takes two to argue. So for a man to argue back with a woman, that's an emotional response to what she's doing, right? Mm. If that's the case, you're not much of a leader. Yeah, I got it. Right. Uh, real shit, real shit. Uh, you know, I would say this is that, uh, you know, what's interesting about the clip is I, I, think, I think a lot of guys just haven't accepted that they're different from women, you know what I mean? And so I think they're trying to, they're trying to get women to be, to be like a guy, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, until you accept that you're, you're supposed to lead women and you're supposed to create the type of world you want and, and uh, you know, have a, have a woman come into your world and, and go in that direction. And you're always going to be confused. Exactly. Men and women are equal. So you're always going to be confused and you're always going to try to uh, sort of shame a woman into being like a guy is weird because and this is from guys who don't understand game and who don't have game because when you don't understand game and you don't have game you don't really understand how women are 
coming at you or how women respond to you. So then it confuses you. And then you get into this back and forth argument with women, because think about it this way in a, in a, uh, in a job, a boss doesn't argue with the employee. Right. right. And so what mm -hmm. happens is that the boss might understand the gripes of an employee. The employee's like, man, I, you know, I want to raise and this and this and that. And the boss is like, look, I can't give you a raise right now. Cause we ain't got it in the budget. The problem is the employee may not necessarily understand that. So the boss understands the, the energy the employee is giving them at the moment, but he doesn't hate the employee. He doesn't get mad at the employee. He's like, listen, you just don't understand. And maybe next quarter you can get the raise. You see what I'm saying? It just is what it is. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, let me, let me ask y'all this, right? <laughs> and this for the, and this for the, uh, the chat too. Like has any, in any time of your life when you're dealing with a woman, has a woman walked away from you when you said, look, this is where it's going to be. This how it's going to be. This is what it is. A oh, woman yeah. ain't never walked away from me like that. Anytime yeah. Yeah. back in the past when I was in my teens and twenties and shit, when a woman walk away, it's because you're doing too much and trying to argue and trying to force yeah. your view on somebody. And, and I'm gonna right. I'm gonna admit that happened. I'm gonna admit that happened to me because it, it, it I, I said it too aggressive. Time. Yeah, I said yeah. it too aggressive. See, yeah. see what I've learned because I'm an aggressive person, you know what I mean? I what I've learned is how to gracefully talk in situations. Uh, that's needed, right? In order for them to receive the the information properly, you know. When I was a young, wild little nigga, man, uh, I was just like, it wasn't even an emotional response. I just felt like if you're trying to argue with me, I just felt like it was disrespectful, right? Yeah. You, know, you can, you can, you can voice your concerns, but it's the way you voice your concerns. And then once I tell you that, don't ask me ten questions differently. On what I just on what I just answered, you know what I mean. I just feel like that's disrespect. Don't don't do that. So I was a young nigga, but now you're 100. percent Nah, they ain't they ain't they understand what it is from top to bottom. Now you know yeah, what I mean. Anytime it ever went sour with me or anybody that I know, a coach is always when you arguing and doing too much, and a bitch will argue with you to the to the moon turn red. Yeah. They will sit there and do it with you all night until they can't. Mm -hmm. And at right. that point, they're like, oh, it's too much. I need my space and all that shit. You just got to man up and be like, look, this is what it is. And, you know, you like it or you don't. And yeah. Yeah. Well, it's going to be this way. And if you don't, if you don't, you know, go by that, we're just going to see what happened then. But, but to, to go back and forth, I think a lot of the times, too, men want to be heard so much and they want a woman to agree with them. That's not how you get a person to agree with you by arguing. Like, like right. Lucario said, your boss don't get you to agree with the, the policy by arguing with you. If your ass come late, I'm going to sit your ass down. If your right. ass do this, your ass going to go home and you follow that shit. You understand? If your boss argue with you, you won't respect him. And so I think men have to learn how to control their emotions a little bit better and the need to want to be heard and the need to want to be right and the need to want uh, uh trying to force somebody to see things their way. Right. Okay, if you don't see it my way, try me. Right. <laughs> Real quick, you know what, King Drake? I think arguing is a power struggle. You yes. cannot be the leader of your situation and be in a power struggle with your woman. Right. Well, yeah, she's cha she's challenging you, and that's and the woman that's talking about all that compromise bullshit. The only thing we gonna compromise is if you're gonna be on your back versus being on your knees or some shit like that. Fuck it. But outside of that, we there is no compromise. This is my way. It is rule one, it's my right. way. Rule two, see rule one. And right. if you don't like it, there's the door. I'm not gonna sit here and try to explain myself why I'm doing things. I'm I'm the I'm the opportunity. You you have to understand that. You're just you're just a woman that I'm fucking with. And if you're lucky enough, you can hang around, but I don't need you like that because you can be easily replaced. But a lot of these guys out here don't believe that they can replace women. That's why they do compromise because they compromise with themselves by letting these women walk all over them, talk crazy to them, disrespect them, and pull their punk card every day. You turn around and what do you do? You take them out to dinner. You kiss their asses. You say, I'm sorry. Baby, let's work this out over some ass and titties, man. Fuck that. I'd rather be by myself, just chill with my motherfucking dick and not deal with that mouth that you're running because there is no compromise with a man. Now, baby, if you want to ride the dick versus be on your knees because you can't handle it from the back, we can compromise. But you know, outside, you and know and I want to say this too. You know, a lot of women, they'll tell you they need help in their life just by some of the things they say. You know, just like she threw that comment out there, like she needs some, we obviously, we know exactly what you need, young lady. <laughs> you know what I mean? We know exactly what you need. And see, the problem is 
when you've dealt with so many bitch ass niggas, you you get it in your head that this is really how men are until that guy right. comes in the door and then it's the glow. Like motherfucking uh last dragon. You know what yeah. I mean? Then you yeah. understand, okay, that's him right there. Let me do everything to be in his space. If I need to conform, if, no, compromise comes from a woman. Mm-hmm. That comes from a woman. All mm-hmm. the list that you said you had, that goes a fucking way when a man comes in your life. And real quick, I always felt like arguing with a woman is giving your power to her. Facts. If you're giving your power to her, what are you doing? You're submitting to her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if you if you're a person who wants to submit to a woman, you keep on arguing with a woman. You you keep on having that environment for yourself. Uh, check this out, man. See, and and the 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 boss at the job analogy is 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 such a such a real thing. You understand? Because listen, any boss that runs a company knows that there is a large pool of employees. Because he could go to the staffing agencies, he could put the ad out in a in a you know on Indeed, Monster.com, all these different websites. He knows that there's somebody else to fill to fill the position. The problem with a lot of guys today is that they are so afraid to lose an employee. You get what I'm saying? They're so fucking afraid to lose a bitch. I, I had to uh, uh, shout out to the Manhood is a Skill Set show every uh one thirty every Saturday Eastern Time, hosted by your boy K Zagan. Um. I, I was I was telling Nicola, I was like, bro, like you have to get used to disappointing a bitch. Mm-hmm. Like you have to get used to disappointing your woman because that's a, that's a part of the natural aspect of what it is for her to understand how to be with you. And like you was just saying, 1950, it's only a woman that really has to compromise. And guess why? Guess why? As the boss of the company, I am here to uphold the nice. business plan. I'm, I'm here to uphold the business plan and the mission statement of this company. The, the right. business plan and the mission statement does not compromise. Mm. The employee who has to compromise. To, so just like you said, you want to raise, but it's not in the budget based on the mission statement and the business plan. So you compromise and work another six to 12 months until we start making more money. And then maybe I could give you that raise because I'm not comprom- I cannot. Com- I would rather sacrifice the employee than compromise the business plan and the mission statement of my company. And that is. The- <laughs> hey, can you bring up that comment by Alexis? Yeah, yeah, I was saying the same thing. Nine sixteen. Four 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 zero. Hold on one second. Four 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 zero. Put your shit on mute. Put your shit on mute and hold on one second. Let me address that shit. Can you bring up that comment? First of all, misogynistic is about the hatred of women. You have never heard any any six of us talk about how we have a disdain or, or, or hatred for women. So even using that word is out of bounds. Controlling, yeah. we give you free will. So yeah. what, we're, what we're talking about is we're not going to argue with you, Alexis. If you got a problem with how we run shit, you can leave. That's not well, controlling. Well, she, she ain't real quick. She ain't used to, like you said, real quick, Miles. She ain't used to a mission statement. See, you ain't used to a motherfucker declaring who he is, his values, and his principles, and saying this is what it is. You right. so these bitch ass motherfuckers kissing your ass and want to do shit your way. That's why you all in your fucking panties right now. Right. Right. Now look, let's check this out. Behind every bitch is a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> it's this, this why, for real. This is why women act like that and they say things yeah. like that because the dudes that they used to dealing with yeah. are compromising. They are, are, are let women get their way. They they run behind women. They let women lead them and shit. And so by the time she's 30 and they hear a dude say, hey, listen, it's going to be this way or it's going to be the highway. What the fuck do that got to do with hating women? It's, I'm like that with my kids. Do I hate my kids too? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so like you know, it's, 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 as men, we have to, to if we... Later, a lot because what what they gonna do? Where they gonna go? And again, a lot of guys think they woman gonna leave them mm-hmm. if they stand up for themselves, or if they or if they lay the law down. Your woman ain't gonna fucking leave you if you lay the law down. She gonna leave you when you act like a bitch. Hey, you hey, see, 1983 right there and 917. That's my it's my oh, time. Oh, we still got the call. Yeah, we still got the call, oh, guys. Go ahead, Let's go. Ahead, go, ahead. go ahead. My bad. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we got four four zero four four zero. You are on live with the real game no three panel. Name, age, city. How can we help you? Four four zero. Four four zero. Caller, caller, caller. Four four zero. Going once. Four four zero. Caller. Going twice. 
what's wrong with these dudes? <laughs> now, yeah, I think he had the show playing in the background, so he's probably trying to. I don't know what he's doing. Four four zero. One more time. Four four zero. So so I like I like what she said in her comments. She said uh the boss is the boss is looking out for what's best for the company. Exactly. Right. You know what I mean? That's how it works. That's how it works. Yeah. That's how it right. works. That's why we can compromise. That's why we can because look, what I look like giving you a raise when I know it's not in the budget. Mm-hmm. What I look like Fucking up the entire budget of the in because listen, keep in mind we got we got 50 other employees in this fucking company. Right. <laughs> you, over here, you over here asking for a raise. Now, if I give you that raise, I'm fucking up the budget for production, for, for product and quality assessment, all that type of shit. And I'm taking money out the pockets of every other employee just to please you. Why would I be afraid to lose one employee when I got 50 others to worry about, including myself and the entire operation of the company? 954, 954, you're on live with the Real Game No Theory panel. Name, age, city. How can we help you? This is Jay from Miami. Jay from Miami. How old are you? 25. All right. What's your question, brother? Go ahead. So I want to ask you guys a question like, like y'all never talk about like oh, how Lord, Lord. dress the how dress. Say, nigga. Say, he he said on, what? Hold on, hold on. What did he hold say? High value dress. Women dress. Say call oh, real quick. Call, call, call. Well, I, think he said, I think he said how a man dress. Say that again. Call he said how, we, we don't talk about what. Call her. Call her. Here. Call her. Wait. 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 Call her. 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 Listen. Listen. Call her. Call her. Call her. Listen. Listen. Here's what I need you to do. Here's what I need you to do. Don't tell us what we do. Ask a question, sir. Don't tell us what we do and what we don't do. Just ask a question. All right. How y'all feel about the passport bros? Why do we give the man? Hold on, let me hold tell you on, something. I, listen, I, you and every other young nigga, listen, because a lot of niggas be asking me this shit on my t- listen. I'm a grown fucking man. I got kids, I got a woman, I got a business. I what do I look like having a feeling about <laughs> right a, <laughs> a trick right. or something? Yeah, yeah, hooking up with prostitutes. What do you, what a, do you a blo- think about a global this trick? Guy? What yeah. do you think about this guy? What do you feel about? What do you need to know? Why do you why do you even want to know how why, a dude feel about somebody feel about else? else? Right. <laughs> that type of shit is going to keep y'all from success because the, the real dudes with the opportunity when they see that bitch in you, they're going to keep you at the bottom. And that's what y'all <laughs> need to be worried about. Let me, you understand let me, let me what I'm address, saying? Let me address what I thought he said. If you said something about why we don't talk about how women dress, Nigga, you can start your own YouTube channel and talk about all the shit you feel like. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so you talk- you, little nigga? Now, y'all just talking about approaching a woman, like, you know, spitting game, but you know... Hey, nigga, you, nigga, nigga, nigga. You, you can start your own YouTube you channel and talk about that bullshit, nigga. No game. So, all right, so call her. Call her. Listen, man, the YouTube is free, bro. It's free to start a channel. If you if you feel like we're not talking about something, get the fuck off of the show. Don't watch us no more and go start your own shit, bro. But I don't understand his question. What is approaching yeah, well, a woman what, what have to do question? with her dressing? Yeah, what's the question called? Because I'm, I'm curious. You said, uh, why don't we talk about how women dress and approaching them? What, what were you saying? I'm talking about a man, not a woman. Like how appearance of a man. A you dress how the fuck you want to dress. The, the fuck? What is you, 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 call her? Have you okay? Have you have you bought uh, my book? How to have sex with two women a day? Oh my god! Nah, I fuck with ARC. That's where y'all y'all took all his talking points at. Oh, Wait, oh you just a bitch ass nigga. I, 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 I don't know. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. I'm about to go. I'm about to say. I'm about to lose it, nigga. Don't ever tell me I'm not authentic, nigga. Call him out of here. Call her, call her. Let me educate you. Don't you, know, you know, call her. Let me educate your motherfucking ass. Motherfucker, before it's an AI. Biggest hater. I know. I know. Wait, a you fuck know. boy right here, nigga. This is where <laughs> this is where I lose focus on YouTube, nigga. I keep forgetting I'm on YouTube now. Nigga, I don't know how to counter bitch ass niggas on a regular. Nigga, this is not a normal thing, nigga. That took some time for me, bro. I still be rest, going out. Listen, bro. rest in peace to ARC. Cause that, that's my dude. But listen, there ain't no, there, nobody's copying anybody because g- men who have game are not taking 
talking points because we're actually living shit caller do you understand that see you take talking points that's why you're talking about passport bros and why you're talking about how niggas dress and all that other shit you understand what i'm saying right he already, he already hung up though but steve you was, you was gonna say something no, I was just to say, man, this motherfucker don't know Steve the fucking Dean Wiz, bitch. I've been doing this shit for a minute. I know these motherfuckers have been doing this shit for a minute. We do not regurgitate information from anybody. I keep telling y'all motherfuckers, the motherfuckers that have game will always teach you something you've never heard before. You've never heard a scream hypergamy. You never scream uh, peels, plates, handsome man, and fucking soft bitch ass air and all that shit that these motherfuckers are doing. Man, fuck out of here with that bitch ass shit. Let me right. um, let, let me address Alexa. How we, we good on calls now? Yeah, yeah, we good on calls. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, let me let me address Alexa. Come back. We just had to spank you for a moment. You you, you were speaking out of turn. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me let me let me say this real quick, okay? Because when people talk about compromise, she was out of order. That yeah, she was out of order. When when women talk about compromise, to me, that's basically you feeling some type of way because the man you dealt with, he didn't accommodate and make concessions for your entry into his life. So at some point, you want him to compromise so he'll make shit more comfortable for you. And if you think about compromise, all that really means is, damn, I can't get what I want. Can I get half of what you want and you get half of what you want? That's not how men behave. Because when you come into my life, my life is a certain way. And it's going to stay that way. So when you talk about compromising, you want me to come off something. You want me to sacrifice something. You want me to alter something in my life to, to make it more comfortable for you. And men don't move that way. But in the, um, the stupid shit is that all the all the females that talk that shit is single bitches. Because none of the niggas that they actually want behave that way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, exactly. Bitches that talk that sounds misogynist and that sounds kind of uncompromising. What do y'all do? So, what does your man have to say about that? Well, I'm single by choice right now. Yeah, right. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. She, she she ain't found one because she can't she can't conform to what the truth really is. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what it is? Misogynistic has turned into any guy who doesn't. Uh, allow me to manipulate him is misogynistic. That's basically oh, what yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's toxic. It's toxic. Yeah, yeah you're like, toxic. You don't want to take your jacket off and lay it over this puddle so I can walk over it. Right. It be them same bitches talking about. I hate when a nigga know his value. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. They, they really, they really do hate that for a minute. They really they do. do. Oh, them quick do. Yeah. All right. Let's get it. Uh, let's get uh, nine two nine. Right. Nine yeah. two nine. They really do. Nine two nine. Turn down y'all. Y'all joint when y'all calling. Goddamn. Nine two nine. Uh, you on the real game note three panel? Name, age, city. How can we help you? Nine two nine. Go ahead. Once. Twice. Two nine. Uh, you on the. Why? Man, they, man, they, 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 look, these niggas, they know, they know the power of a good show. They know the topic is crazy. They know the topic right. is crazy. They, 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 they all got an iPhone. They all got it's, an iPhone. It's it's it. <laughs> oh, it, bro. oh, my God. Dre, did you bring the trolls with you, nigga? Is that what happened? <laughs> nah, they don't, no, listen, I don't play that shit on my shit, bro. I don't. <laughs> I don't even address them or nothing. I I don't play that shit on my nigga, shit. I hate just hang up on the motherfuckers, bro. man. Nigga, I hate trolling niggas, niggas, bro. Yeah, they're like, oh shit, they got King Dre on the panel. <laughs> yeah, they know I be going in. <laughs> hey, look, dude, dude asked a good question up here, man. Uh, about this girl right here, this one right here. Everybody. Yeah, yeah and, and found in an argument with a woman isn't the best option for a man to walk away and take the L since he's obviously not being a good leader. It's not about when you're in a relationship or a partnership or a business ship or even a friendship. When you got a disagreement or a misalignment, a lot of y'all mentality be wrong and be egotistical and thinking in terms of winning and losing. And that's not what it's about when you with your woman. It's not a it's not a oh, I took a L. It's we need to do what's best for it. I mean, we need to do what's best to move the empire forward. We need to do what's best for the empire. And if that requires you walking away and taking a or, or, or not trying to force yourself on somebody or standing on your square or standing on your boundaries and, and practicing what's called non-verbal communication, then that's what's best. But that's not taking an L if 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 you can come to a, a, a conflict resolution, you utilize your conflict resolution skills and right. bring a disagreement to a closure. Stop looking at it like it's taking the air. That's what keep y'all from that's what keep y'all from walking away in the first place because you want to win and shit. It's not about right. winning. It's about <laughs> moving your empire forward. You understand? And yeah, I just want to address that. Go ahead. I'll say this too real quick, uh, Drake, right? 
a lot of these niggas is not consistent enough to even understand the design of their own empire, which is right. why they argue so fucking much with these with these chicks. And they like a, a lot of these niggas, their, their inconsistency is so prevalent that the arguments are going to come up because you don't have no real direction. So your bitch is looking at you, your woman is looking at you like, what the fuck is this nigga doing? And then that's where the real arguments come in. But, bro, I don't have arguments with women, bro. Like, I don't oh, understand. Yeah. Maybe I'm a different nigga, but uh, my woman don't argue with me. She may ask a question for clarity, but that that's about it. But anyway, we got Anonymous on the line. Um, You're on live with the with the Real Game No Theory panel. Name, Aid City. How can we help you? Yo. 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 Yo, stop trying to listen to the show while you talk, nigga. Just talk to us. With your phone. And then hey, hit man. the playback later. Hey, man, you know, on, on so Mac Game Mondays. All right, man. Hey, I'm man. These so, so on Mac Game Mondays, I decided, man, that I don't take no more anonymous calls. So, nigga, if you don't, if you don't have a number, I just go ahead and just hang up on him, dog. Okay. Yeah, 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 for real, because these anonymous niggas is the these worst. Are, these niggas is trolling, dog. They just come in here trying to disrupt the show, dog. I'm like, man, fuck that, nigga. You. You out of here. Uh, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me make this point about the whole argument thing. You know, mm. if you look up the word compatibility, it means existing in harmony without conflict. Mm -hmm. uh, an argument is just that. It's a conflict. It's also um, not harmonious to what you got going on. So, again, <laughs> if you think about arguing, arguing is, is basically a disagreement that's turned emotion. Mm -hmm. okay? where, where you're trying to force your point onto somebody else. First of all, as a man, why would you want to be with a woman who does that? And as a woman, why would you want to be with a man who yells and screams and try and make you be believe what he's saying is something that you need to follow? Mm -hmm. that, both of y'all should look at each other like you're an unattractive motherfucker to me right now. Right. And, 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 also, and also, I it's hard for me to hear cats say, hey, take the L. Like when you're a winner, you're always a winner. Mm -hmm. Winners, winners keep winning, and when they're not, when they're not winning, they're finding ways to win. We're never right. fucking losing, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So for you to have the mentality as taking a L, as if that is something that we're supposed to do as the winner, and look, man, if I'm the look, man, if I'm the owner of the company, if I'm the owner of the company, if I run the company, how the fuck am I taking an L to an employee? Right. right, exactly. That's well, how, how, how the fuck does that work? You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. Another but, thing too, uh, yeah, like when you before you get into a situation with a woman, you're supposed to lay the law of the land anyway, and and mm -hmm. and let her know like we're not ops, we're not opposition, we're not enemies, we on the same team. So it ain't about winning and losing. It's not mm -hmm. about you know uh, you doing it this way and I do it this way. You know we gonna have disagreements or misalignments, but the point is to move the shit forward. So. Again, a lot of guys go into it with this win-lose mentality, and women have that egotistical win-lose mentality all the time. And you're right. supposed to nip that in the bud before you even commit to a woman anyway. You understand? Right. Yeah. Yeah, let, let me address Reno Stubbs. He says, you guys have to treat this like a hotline. People need help, so stay professional, brothers. Stay fam. What? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Trying to check. 11, you know 11, what? 1131. You. you know what? I can't stand these niggas. Man, let me tell you something, dog. I really be feeling like a, like y'all niggas be really trying to check us, nigga. Nigga, call in if you need help and ask a question. You niggas is fuck boys, nigga. Don't fuck with niggas that know what the fuck they talking about. Nigga, it's just like your father. You gonna tell your father how to fucking act? Don't you, exactly. you, you know what? Hey, dad, sit up in the chair when you talking to me. What shit is that? <laughs> the fuck you call this bitch trolling, bro? Nigga, this nigga, I see the nigga in the chat. I see the nigga in the chat said, y'all don't stop using the N-word. Who the right. fuck is you, nigga? <laughs> Who the fuck is you? See, y'all forget this part of masculinity, right? Mm. Confrontation, violence. Right. You know what mm. I mean? Y'all forget this part. Y'all think we supposed to always be, oh, you know, we, this, hey, masculinity is this, nigga. And if you mm. come wrong, we gonna fuck you up. Fact. That's all it is. Nigga, I, I, was, I was sparring at, at 7.30 this morning, nigga. I was, I was punching niggas in the face at 7.30 this morning, nigga. Ain't that lovely? Ain't that lovely? <laughs> Wake up to a morning jab, nigga. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I remember them days. Yeah, nigga. So, <laughs> shout out to my coach. He gave, he gave me some consistent sparring partners, too, man. Shout out to my coach, man, for real. But, so, but nah, nah, man, we... 
Call us. Call in. 919-647-9392. 919-647-9392. Let's right. go, man. Anderson, Syria, call us, please, man. We got we got, we got, got a whole nother Game King on the fucking panel, and y'all niggas is trolling and playing around, man. Like, come mm-hmm. on. Come on. Let's Syria go, man. Said, this is a hotline. Like, they're asking mm-hmm. Abby a something. Like, they're asking mm-hmm. Abby a question. Like, mm-hmm. Abby, like, mm-hmm. Abby, like, mm-hmm. like, why is the motherfucker? I just don't hate niggas trying to tell us how to conduct business, nigga. What type of niggas is these? Yo, 646-646, you're on live with the Real Game No Theory panel. Name, age, city. How can we help you? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It's Ready Rock, Brooklyn. All right, listen, bro. Listen, listen. I'm going to need you to speak directly into your phone. My bad. My bad. I got it. I got it. I fixed it, fam. I oh, fixed it. All right, All right. Yeah, go ahead, Ready brother. Rock, Brooklyn, 29 years old. Okay. Children Project, Brooklyn, Building 300. Till them, till them. Give me the whole, the whole address and shit. Bro. Oh, hold on, call her, call her. Hold on, one second, one second. Shout out to Casual Journal for the twenty dollars super chat. He says, "Salute to the panel, King Dre. It's good to see you on here." All right. So yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Call her, Brooklyn stand up. Till them projects. Let's go. Thank you. Hey, uh, a couple last week. Uh, this is nineteen fifty, right? Old old girl can't call through, and like I listen nineteen fifty a lot. He sound like a dude that's. Really stand on business, but then his ex girlfriend called in, disrespecting the whole panel. So that wasn't ex- my ex girlfriend, nigga. See, this is why y'all niggas. Let me tell you what. Let me tell you. See, and I don't. This, I, don't this her, and I don't believe him. I don't believe him. I'm about to say, nigga. This this, this top niggas, nigga. Do you know I've never had a bitch of mine ever call in, nigga? Do you understand? In my whole entire existence in life, nigga, I had a total of three women that I called mine. You, you understand me? Nigga, everybody else was a lay. Do you understand that? There's a difference, nigga. There's a difference. Hey, that's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. That's how I know niggas don't really understand the game. Nigga, when you just fucking the bitch, nigga, that's that bitch free will to do whatever she fucking wants to do. I don't give a fuck if she want to go slap niggas every day. When she come to me, she going to be away, nigga. Wait, I, I, just, I just want to say, say real quick, Miles. I was uh, there when she called in. This nigga's exaggerating the facts, bro. Yeah, he's definitely. Yeah, this nigga's a fuck boy. Nigga, he's, what's your real Brooklyn nigga out here? Nigga, I have respect for Brooklyn, 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 nigga. That's my little most wanted nigga out here trying to front. Yo, yo, call her, call her. What, what, are you, what are you really trying to do, man? You, you, come on. Telling projects ain't about that type of life, nigga. Stop, stop with the bitch ass nigga shit. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey, 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 um, Miles. My name Ready Rock. If you ask, you call him Matilda, ask anybody about Ready Rock. Like, I don't nigga, that nigga don't got no bass in his voice. Please tell me that nigga not from Brooklyn. You don't care, though. That Yo, doesn't matter. Else, my name is Ready Rock. When Ready you Rock. tell that project, you better ask anybody. My ask name is Ready Rock. Rock. <laughs> and, and, and as soon as we ask one nigga, I'm like, who? Uh, <laughs> nigga, man. Are you ready to, ready to rock what? The latest dress, nigga? What are we talking about? Hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hey, wait, nigga, hey, listen, listen, little, little homie, little check, man, go be, pr- you gotta be, pr- little, little homie, check it out, check it out, Jit, yeah, check it out, listen, listen, bro, you got, you got to do something with your life, man, that, that shit corny at that age, you understand what I'm saying, yeah, get up and be productive, bro, we need you in the world, that's the, what's the wrong with the world right now, yeah. that's why we got to do this right now, you talk about, I'm from this project, and I'm nigga, my name, nigga, get the, come on, bro, and you calling up here trolling, because you ain't got nothing to do. Yo, what are you, what are you trying right? to do, bro? Caller, what's your real question, bro? Let, let's get to some real game, man. What's up with you? What's going on? All right, cool. So last week, after I heard that, I'm like, do do you really, do you niggas stand on bench? And then with Miles and, um, what's your name, Lucario? <sighs> Miles Lucario, like, you, you niggas offended me because, like, you don't kick a man when he down, yo. And you be what? kicking the homies when they down. That's not cool. What? Like, what? Oh, my God. What? 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 what do you mean? Whatever do you mean, caller? What are you talking about? Who, who, who we kick when we was down? What are you talking about? Yeah, who did we kick when they was down? Who are you talking about? Uh, hey, Miles, Miles, don't play dumb, yo. You from the city. I, I keep the seats, yo. Like, don't play this ready box. Don't play. Hey, hey, Miles, yo, you on my number, yo. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, 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 caller, 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 give us a straight answer. Who did we kick when they were down? Okay. If you want a straight answer, I'm going to give you a straight answer. You kicked them niggas fresh and fit down. When, 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 when they called that dude simping, when homie was simping, y'all was clowning homie. Nah, 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 nah. Listen, 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 Go ahead, go ahead. My bad, bro. I was going to say this. Caller, do you know that uh, I, I talked to Fresh on the phone and we have conversations? You, you know that, right? Like, I actually talked to Fresh personally. You know that, right? No, I didn't know that. How I know that? 
Okay, so that's my point. So business, you're talking nigga. about shit you don't know, <laughs> caller. Fresh called me and he saw the live stream me and Miles did. And you know what he said to me? He said, yo, I watched the whole live stream and you guys are right. I fucked he up. Even that's, came what he up. that's what he told he us. Came at, he even came at the end. Didn't he come on the end? I mean, he, yeah, came he came on the end of the show. <laughs> so, caller, what are you talking about? What are you talking about, caller? And, and it's, and it's oh one God. thing. Oh, hold, on. hold on. Let's check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Jet, Jet, Jet. Check it out. Listen. It's one thing for 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 to for them to disparage a man while he down and talk shit about, but they didn't do that. Right? They used a man's situation, who's a public figure, to teach thousands of men not to make the same mistakes. If I do some goofy shit, if I do some goofy shit or some goofy shit, which it ain't gonna happen, but if something (laughs) happened to me like that, I would want everybody up here to speak about it and teach the guys the lesson that I should have learned, so they can learn from my mistakes. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing wrong with that. You know, and, and any public That's figure okay. or any grown man, any grown man would understand that. If not, get out of the public eye. If you, if it's, you know, if you can't stand the heat, get out the kitchen. Yeah, or don't do goofy shit. David, bro, I respect Hold that. David, bro, I, I respect your response, yo. I yo, niggas in the projects that. is in their feelings like this these days? Is that what y'all niggas on, in the projects on. is hey, doing? Hey, hey, Miles, Miles, hold on, hold on, Miles. I, I want to address one more thing before I leave, Miles. Back in the day, it was, it's a, it was a group in Brooklyn called the the Decepticons, right? So oh, we all ran, like everybody ran with <laughs> So what I'm saying with two miles, your boy disrespecting like the, the crew, and you still tolerate that. He disrespects you to the crew. You gotta kick him out the whip, son. You gotta kick him out the whip. Yo, why you sound like that? He's so, yo, 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 shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut shut You don't know what the fuck you talking about, shut you know what I'm saying? We need to kick you out the motherfucking whip because you ain't got no goddamn sense, Sean. Know what I mean, Sean? Hey, 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 shout out to New York. Shout out to New York. Listen, listen. Shout out to New York niggas. Listen, right? Yo, he's stuck in the way. There be niggas like this, right, that be coming down to Florida and we be patching them up and beating them up because they ain't tough and they be thinking they tough. It DB, these niggas be trying to get everybody to think they tough. Come on, man. Chill out, man. Well, let, me, let, me, let, me, um, let me say this about, about, about the, the, the new wave New York niggas. Oh, all y'all gentrifying, niggas. Exactly all y'all speak with proper way. English. Stop it. Stop it, nigga. Stop it. Wait, yeah, he's wait, definitely wait. a gentrified nigga. This, this, is, this is white women running with little puppy dolls in their area now, nigga. You, you, about to be, you about to be waxed out in a minute, nigga. You better get a job and get a life. That, that, right. in that same building you ain't about to be demolished and it's about to be penthouses, nigga. Yo, Ready Rock. Ready Rock. Ready Rock. Ready Rock. What building you say you live in again? Build your project. Building 300. How many, how many white bitches? How many white bitches moved in last week? <laughs> there ain't no white bitch moving. Come stop playing with me, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 ready, ready, rock. Let, let me ask you this question. This is how you get it. What you doing with your life right now, bro? Thanks. Yeah, I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm doing a lot right now. I'm doing movies on YouTube. As a matter of fact, you don't believe me? It's called Let's Go. If you put uh, it. Let's go, yeah. Oh, we gonna, we gonna check that on tomorrow. Hey. On media Mondays. You should check. Hey, 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 you know, you you notice how his tone. Got real calm and lower when he started talking about himself. But he had all the energy in the world when he was talking about individual niggas, man. You see, this is how I know yeah. you don't love yourself. That's why you I love that. yourself more, man. You should have projected your voice louder that, than ever talking about yourself, hey, bro. Hey, you right on point. That's exactly why I asked him that. Thanks. That's exactly why I asked him that. Yo, Sean, yo, Sean, why you why you ain't get all excited when you talking about your movies, Sean? Oh, yo, y'all, y'all niggas swear like y'all know everything. Y'all niggas don't know everything, Sean. Y'all know- <laughs> right, but, we, but we know what we talking about, though. Yeah, I tell you, collectively, I, I, we do. I, I, don't, look, I don't know everything, but I know what I'm talking about. You feel me? If I don't know something, I know Zag got it. If I, <laughs> hey, 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 I know if Zag don't know something, my nigga Miles and L got it. You know what I mean? We, hey, hey, we collectively, we're Voltron to you, nigga. <laughs> Okay, okay, all right, hold on, hold on. How how about we all meet in, in, in person and nigga, we- nigga, you sound five two one twenty soaking wet, nigga. Stop <laughs> it, nigga. You probably got blue Cortezes on with high socks with dicky <laughs> shorts, nigga. Hey, nigga I, I know let me tell you something, dog. You you hey, this is what you do, dog. You, your whole life is just trying to find a reason to do something to a nigga because you don't have a life of your own, nigga. When you're happy, you do happy shit, nigga. I'm right. going to be in my backyard smoking cigar and I'm going to slice a steak today, nigga. What are you going to do? Right. You going to be out in front of the jacks? 
Shan, yo, yo Shan, what you mean, Shan? <laughs> what you said the name is Movie because I want to look that shit up. It's, it's called Let's Go, but but we got five four zero five four zero. You are on live on the real Ooh, game. Mario is a man. No <laughs> panel uh, name <laughs> eight. <Yeah, we're laughs> five four zero. Go ahead. Hey, what's up with y'all, man? Hey, y'all, I like what y'all doing, man. Hey, I got a question though, man. I will hear. Wait, 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 yo, yo, yo. Listen, 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 brother. Name, age, city. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm Richard, man. I'm calling from our VA out of Fredericksburg. All right, how old are you? I was shot. Uh, I'm, I'm forty. Forty. All right, go ahead, brother. Yeah, I'm saying, man. Um, how do you know what to look for out here, man? It seems like ain't ain't nothing real. You try to build a business, you know what I'm saying? How you how you supposed to know what the rock will? You feel me? As far as what? What are you talking about? Like 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 women wise. Oh, they are they all over the place, man. All over the place, dog. What you talking about? But, They're everywhere. Call her. Call her. I went to Whole Foods yesterday. Call her. I know what you getting, man. No, no, no. Call her. Like, call her. Listen, 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 listen. You, you, you. Do you know who you are? Because the key, the key to to understanding any female is to understand yourself, brother. Because you have to, you have to mold the woman to your mission. Do you understand that? So you over here asking about the woman, but you really should be asking, what kind of man do I need to be to find what I'm looking for? That's what you need to be asking. Got you. I'll, got I'll tell you, you this. Well, Colin, I'll, I'll, I'll tell, tell you this. Call. They just need Colin. a call. Man. Yeah. Colin, Colin, I'll tell you this. You shouldn't man, be looking for nothing. Man. Colin, you shouldn't be looking for nothing. At the end of the day, whenever you do encounter a woman and you give her an invitation into your life, you need to show her what she need to be doing to keep that invitation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's kind of where I was at, though, for real, man. I was just like feeling, feeling like, you know what I'm saying? I just do my own thing, but you know, I hear everybody saying, you know, you need a woman, this, that, and the third. But it's like, wait, 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 wait. You said you said you hear everybody again. Caller, what do what do you say, bro? That's what. See, that's a, that's your problem. You talking about you? You 40 years old, correct? Yeah, you, you know, I mean, I, I ain't really tripping on what they say, but I'm thinking like, no. you know, you know, you don't want to grow old. You hear that all the time. But I'm like, man, you can't really. Oh, come on, man. Your, 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 your issue, issue your like, thing is like he said, like, though, bro. I got to find the right joint. Like, but your thing, like he said, though, bro, you don't even know yourself, so you don't even know what you want. And this why y'all, this why bitches be ghosting y'all and shit, or they walk in your life and walk by that, because they, you got to understand, women be knowing what's up. Like, this like hardwired in them, hardwired in them to, Walk in a room and feel it out. Oh, this nigga don't even—he don't even know which way he going. Right. Why do I want to fuck with him? How mm -hmm. how 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 he gonna lead me anywhere? And he don't even know where the fuck he going. So you got to know where you going. You got to know what you bought. That way you can know what you need on your team. You understand right. what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. So, Carla, let me ask you a question. You ever you ever went to a a, a subway sandwich restaurant? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. So when you go in there, you tell them what to to make on the sandwich, right? Right, right. So, have you ever walked out of a subway with your sandwich and was like, "Why they give me this shit?" Like, was was you confused or did you like the sandwich you walked out with? Uh, I mean, if if it wasn't right, you know what I'm saying. I, you know what I'm saying. I'd be confused. No, I'm saying, but has it ever not been right? Has have you went to a subway and they gave you exactly what you wanted? Yes or no? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So it's the same thing. The same way you tell them how to make the sandwich is the same way you tell a woman how to be with you. Does that make sense? Yeah, it, it makes sense. It makes sense. That's I, I guess you, about, mm -hmm. you create your own situation. You're the creator of your situation. So you called in when you first called in. You was like, yo, how am I supposed to find or how am I supposed to do? And like what Mal said is you got to figure out who you are so that you can create that situation for yourself, man. That's all he's saying. Caller, you are the architect right, of your dating experience. Man. I yeah. appreciate that. So you saying it's it, 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 it's possible? You know what I'm saying? It seems like it seems like no, it ain't possible for you. No, call it. What you, what you can do for it? Let's call it. A duck can't be a lion, motherfucker. So you got to understand something. It ain't possible for you till you get off your lazy fucking ass and get a, one of these motherfuckers to help you. You ain't going to do shit. You can't do it on your own already. So you need some structure. So don't think because they tell you all this shit that you can just go flip and change, man. You got to get under you know, no ditty. You got to learn from one of these motherfuckers. <laughs> you got to learn from one of these guys. You see what I'm saying, caller? 
Yeah, Cola, get some, yeah, you gotta get some coaching, man. Go to Masculine Identity or or uh you know Gateway to Game Bad Boy mm-hmm. membership. You gotta you gotta get with somebody. You understand? Cause you forty years old and you still asking these type yeah, you of behind it, you behind you way too, yeah. too late in the game for that, bro. You you sound like <laughs> yeah, true, true. I just feel like it ain't it ain't out here, but, but I mean, it ain't not because it ain't because it's because you uh, ain't pulled it out because you ain't pulled it out of you yet. Let me ask you a serious question. You smoke weed. Uh, nah, I'm not. It ain't really my thing. Why? Cause it's it's cause it sounds like you stuck like mentally, like you're a teenager, like you yeah. still like like almost childish, like. And then, yeah. and I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but you kind of you got to figure out at which which point you decided to stay in your safe space as a teenager, and you hmm. got to go past that into a man. You understand what I'm saying? Right and this, that's why I ask you weed, because we typically yeah. weed do that to niggas. <laughs> And please, it, it, it remind me of that song that Nas did, Second Childhood and shit. Yeah. All right, call us. So we we got other calls, man. I'm gonna let you go, but yeah, you you get true, get true. with some coaching or at least meditate on it and find out who you are. Ask yourself, who am I and what do I want, and then start living your life that way. All right, bro. Yeah. Appreciate you. All right, take it easy, brother. Come on, man. Nine zero one nine zero one. You are on live with the Real Game No Theory panel. Name Eight City. How can we help you? Hello. Yeah, nine zero one. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. What's up, fellas? Hey, uh, hey. My name is Drew. I'm down here in Memphis, and uh, I'm twenty two. Twenty two. All right, man. Uh, look, are you are you speaking directly into the phone? Uh, I'm on the road right now. I got my AirPods in, man. Does it, can you hear me or how's it looking? It's all okay, fucked so up. I, what you can do I, is take your AirPods out and then turn it on speaker and just hold the phone and speak to it. Speak into it. But drive safe though, brother. Drive uh, safe. Uh, uh, my, you know, my my company, they, 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 they got these damn cameras. Nah, all right, all right. Do it. Wait, wait, wait. Call it, call it, call it, call it, call it, call it, call it. Keep it just like that. Go ahead. Just speak clearly, please. Go ahead. Go ahead. Fuck. All uh, right, you got me. You yeah. Hear me? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. All uh, right. Yeah. Uh, all right. So I got a situation, man. And actually, Dre just he just said a good point about the weed because. You know, I got out of high school a couple of years ago and like I was smoking weed every day. And like most of the people that were around me, right? Like we only had connections through the weed type shit. All right. So like, you know, I cut all that off, you know, to get on my own shit. But my question is, right? I, I think I know the answer, but I want to hear what y'all got to say, you know, because, you know, y'all the OGs and everything, right? What the fuck is your I, question? I, I, shit, what's your question? All right, get, get, go, go straight to the question. Go, go straight to the question, caller, please. All right, all right, so pretty much, I've been dealing with you know my main, my main. All right, all right question, question. Oh, okay. Caller, 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 caller. You know how a question sound, right? You got to say what or why or how. <laughs> I got, I got, I got, I got, I got. Uh, cool, man. If a woman, if a woman, when you're when you're building yourself up, you ain't you have a clingy woman that doesn't really. You know, get that. You know, you can't. You know, give her attention. You know, all the time. You tell her to. You tell her to chill the fuck out. Look, 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 look. I already know what you're going with. This. Listen, listen, listen. You tell her to chill the fuck out. I'm, I'm working, and I get to you when I'm done. That's it. That's it. That's all. Yeah, that's, that's what. I, that's what I'm doing. Y'all hear what I gotta say. Let me, let me. Like, 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 oh, let me I'm ask you a question. Call you know, her. Call her. Yeah, yeah. Call her. Y'all niggas love to talk, bro. Call her. Listen. <laughs> Do you and your woman argue? No, no, I, I don't nah, play this yeah, argument. There, there's arguments that happen, nigga. You, that's not true, nigga. You called in with a question. Wait, wait, wait. I heard discomfort, nigga. Caller, how? So, what's the problem? If you, if y'all don't argue, then what's the issue? What's going on then? Because lately, so she tries to argue, but I don't do that arguing shit. Oh man, you weak. Let me, tell you, let me tell you what to do. Let me tell you what to so. I think he's trying to say like he's trying to get his shit together, and and the girl being. Uh, overbearing as far as one is attention and it's starting to cause problems, right? Right. So so what I'm saying is she's a she's a solid bitch. Like she's invested like money into Listen. me and I'm trying to, you know, start a business uh, and all types of shit. If she was a solid if she was a solid cut off you young, you young, you young should it you young. Call. So if she was as solid as she, if she was as solid as you think she is, instead of trying to stress you out, she would be helping you. And so instead of trying to pull you away from what you're trying to do, she would come over and make herself useful if she was as solid as you think she is. And right. so this is what you have to do in order to not let that happen. Sometimes maybe she don't know. So you got to be a good leader and say, okay, listen, how about come over here 
help me do this, help me do this. And when I get done, you know, we could, you can help me do this and I can get done faster and we can go ahead and make magic like how we make magic. You understand what I'm saying? But don't let her sit around and fucking, you know, stress you out. And cause that shit, you know, you can't think like that. Your, your head ain't in the game when you stressing in the bitch trying to pull you away from your shit. But that's first and foremost, if she was really solid, she wouldn't be trying to pull you away. And, and, but that's and I on you say- at the same time, at the same, at the same time. Yeah, and I, and I want to say this really quick. Exactly. You know, you know, you know, caller. I'm gonna give you an example. When 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 the students walk in the classroom, the teacher has the expectations written on the board. Okay, so when 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 they walk in, they know what to expect, right? <laughs> so let's just say the expectations are going to change at the end of the class period, right? So it sounds like you've been spending a lot of time with her. Sounds like you already had, you know, you then you started getting something going and she's requesting more time, okay? So then this is where the communication and the leadership like Dre was saying comes in. You let her know this is the time that I'm available. And that is the time that you're going to be available. Outside of that, don't expect me to be around call text or nothing but i need you look and this is how you empower the woman though right you empower her by giving her duty outside of her natural self right now you look she has too much idle time to think about you not being around too much right now dog Mm -hmm. give her duty give her something to do she is there to help you bro and if her mind is sitting on the couch thinking about when you coming home that is way too much idle time for her man Exactly, and, and that's what keeps you know, that's, that's what keeps like, them feminine, like, bro. Like, you know, pulling yeah, back, and like she knows, you know, I'm, I get with other, you know, bitches and shit like that. Hey, call her. But it's call like her. he fucked up. Call her. Call her. I, don't, I think call it's listen. Call her, listen. Uh, many, many moons ago, right? <clears throat> I had an ex, right? And um, I went to college for the first time in my late twenties. She felt some type of way because I was I was in college. She felt like I was gonna outgrow her and leave her. So she ended up going back to school. The point I'm trying to make with that story is your woman could feel like she's in competition with your mission. Mm-hmm. Right? And if that's the case, that's problematic for you because she's going to want to feel like you're making that a priority over me. Yeah. And like what Dre and, and Fifth were saying, you need to give her duties. Right? And, and a lot of times you can integrate her in what you're doing so she feels like she's a part of that. Right. Uh, right. Call her. Call her. I, need, I need to address something, bro, because you said there are no arguments, but she be trying to argue. What the fuck do you mean? <laughs> like, like she'll bring up issues and then like, I uh, want to address the shit. Like, exactly. I'll just go on no, about no. Business, but, okay, okay. You know, see, see, right hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If if you OK, let me ask you a question. If you bo- if if do you do you bring up issues to your boss? I mean, yeah, yeah. What kind of yeah. issue, what kind of issues you bring yeah. up to your boss? What kind of issues you bring up to your boss? Man, if I want overtime, if if you know, okay, wait, 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 overtime is not an issue. That's that's <laughs> money in his pocket. Exactly, that's a request. That's a request. <laughs> you're not bringing up issues to your boss. Why? Because your boss knows how to run a fucking company. So if your bitch is bringing up issues right, to right, you, right. then what does that mean, Carla? <laughs> Right, right, right. I need it. Right. The thing is, like, she's in line. Like, she's in pocket. No, she's not. No, she's hey, not. Hey, she not she well, yeah. give, give us an example oh. of an issue she brought, the, the latest issue she brought to you. The latest issue. All right. I, I, all right. Pretty much just attention, man. Pretty much. Like, like last week, I put about 60 hours in on the road. And she's just bitching, like, oh, you know. You know, I know you got to work, but she, she always hit me with the but, you know. Wait, wait, hold on, call her, call her real quick, real quick. How long you been with this woman? How long you been with her? Do my shit. Call her. Wait call up. her. How long have you been with her? Man, we've been together since 10th grade. So it's like we started out as, as youngin'. Wait, youngin'. Wait, so how, wait, wait, how long is that? How old are you? No. So it's like when it told uh, you about four, five years, like, six years. But like, bro, but like, bro, but but like th- during this whole time, like she's just like my main giant. Like she knows I do my thing on the side. Oh, like, see, so, that's so the wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, so you haven't set any structure 
to the days that y'all are going to see each other, right? You didn't say this is our day and that's our day, and you you didn't have you don't got no structure that yeah you just see her whenever, right? You, you said what was that? So I was I cut out. No, what I'm saying is, do you have specific days or times that y'all supposed to get together? Uh, shit, like. Pretty much, I'll just call her up like, hey, I'm free, you know, come, come yes, yes, you no. know. Yes, you, know. You, ain't, you ain't no leader, nigga. You ain't no fucking leader. That's why you fucking up. Because if you know this, if you know this woman this long, my nigga, stop, stop, just stop, bro. If you know this woman this long and she ain't fall in line yet, you are not a good leader. You're, you're fucked, bro. Stop it. Stop and, it. And, and, and let me say this too, caller. I, I know you slip this in. Right, hey, up? call her, call her. I know you slipped this in about f- smashing oh, no. other bitches. So let me say this, dude. I, I, every time I hear a man who has concern about one bitch, I know you can't manage no bitches, right? Exactly, so, right. So I know, I know that like your situation is created by distrust. And I and I know she doesn't trust you. And let me ask you this. You out here fucking women and you know she knows you're fucking hold on. Let me let me get this off. She knows you're fucking other women. It, are you have y'all discussed her fucking other men? Man, listen, listen, I almost wrecked this truck. And I knew I almost wrecked this truck. Let's <laughs> pull over whatever. He had to pull over. He like, hold on. So, like, if I'm learning the game. Like, I, I started dating her in, in high school. You know, I didn't really give a Answer fuck. Answer the question. Dating her and shit. Now, as I'm growing into a man, like, I'm, you know. Answer I'm, the I'm, question. I'm, I'm, caller. Answer the call question, caller. Wait, Jeez, caller, you know caller, saying? caller. You doing a, you you saying a lot, but you you talking a lot, but you ain't saying nothing. Answer the I question. know he be arguing. A- exactly. <laughs> Answer the question, caller. <laughs> I, 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 on Jesus, I don't argue. On Jesus, I don't argue. Caller, have y'all had a conversation the about question? her? The question, have have you have you had a conversation about her fucking with other other men? See, I mean. Like I keep it clear. Like, I don't really give a fuck. I got. I, 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 that's, that's, that's not the truth. That's not the truth. Answer the question. Y'all had y'all are horrible communicators, bro. Like horrible. <laughs> that, that's Did not you know have the conversation you. or not, bro? Yes or no? What you said? What? Did you have the conversation, motherfucker? Talking to my son, bro. Like I'd be like, bro. <laughs> call her. Call her. Did you have the conversation? Yes nah, or no? Nah, I, I, I guess, I guess, I guess not. But like, okay, so yeah, yeah. If you no, guess it no, not, let me, let me, let me no, tell you. No, let me, search. let me tell you what's going on in them sixty hours you gone. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so I'm letting you know <laughs> that you are missed right now, but it's going to become less and less because you didn't have the conversation. On how she's supposed to conduct herself outside of you, my nigga. And so let me just tell you this: for you to expect, and I'm just saying this in general, my nigga, for you to expect for a woman to be solid with you when you're not even solid with yourself, my nigga. You, you, the audacity. Let me just say this, dog. Some niggas got mad game and influence for a woman to know. Okay, I don't want to lose this, even if it's just this part of him. Even if it's just this part. So I'm going to behave in my life this way. But I can tell just how you can't answer questions, how you can't do things uh, uh, productively. I think mean, she's confused and she's all over the place. She don't know what's going on. So guess what happens in those 60 hours? One of these niggas on the panel, <laughs> one of these niggas on the panel, and I'm not saying particularly us. I mean, niggas with game. Is going to be talking to your bitch, and they are going to be using mild soap with the with the hey with the with the double XL magnums <laughs> dripping and lining out of your bitch. Nigga, I'm telling you. You know, you know what? Hey, call let me tell you something. Bro, bro, bro. Look, Memphis, bitch has something. Here's the, here's the problem, Memphis. The problem is the most fucking is fucking it right now is giving her the right instructions. Go ahead and throw him off the scent by asking where he at when he comes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that gives me more time for you to get on this dick. Yeah, what time you coming back? When, when you coming back? Back, yeah. Oh, I'll be back uh, three days. Good. We got some time, baby. 
And, and you know, you know, real, real talk though, real talk though, Carla, when, when women start like tripping out like that and they like confused and going in, that's because two different people in their ear. So oh, just know that. Oh, so, shit. You know, just think about it. Just think about it. Think about you telling her one thing and somebody else telling her another, right? But you the safe space. So she going to come to you with the confusion. You understand right. what I'm saying? You better get your shit together and lay the law down. You, you, you. I don't know, bro. You got to tighten up. You're young. You're, you'll get there. You're young. So I, I, I give you a little. I can give you a little grace, bro. No, not, bro, bro. All right. I didn't ask you that question because I thought you were talking about something else. We've had this talk multiple times, bro. She, she don't even have social media. Like she knows. Oh, nothing. okay. Oh my god. Can't be How she is, bro? How did she? She's my. Age. But hey, like I know we young. Like I'm not even taking this shit too serious. You know, you know, she she invests in me and shit. You know, she she really like building up my you know financially my business and shit. She's like in, you know what I mean? Like I don't really I'm not really the fuck up. Will you shut your fucking ass up? Nobody wanna hear what the fuck you wanna say. Nothing that come out your mouth is bitch. Shut your ass up and listen. Can you do that, motherfucker? Keep that shitty ass thing in your ear. Drive your fucking car and shut the fuck up. Because we don't want to hear your bitch ass mouth. You're the reason why she fucking one of us right now. So shut the fuck up and listen. I'm telling you, man, I'll be jackhammering this bitch. If I was that nigga. <laughs> flat. Oh, man. Call you, 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 the, you, the, you, the, you the utility you boyfriend, bro. Uh, you sound like the utility boyfriend. You know yeah. what the utility boyfriend is? Younger women have utility boyfriends for the emotional safe space, mm. but they also have wild needs that they go. Mm. You know, the thing with women, they don't sacrifice. They don't. They're not mature to say, you know what? Well, if I want a boyfriend or a family, I can't be getting fucked by. They don't think like that, especially <laughs> when they're younger, and so they're gonna get both. Mm. And just unfortunately, you just yeah. the utility. Yeah. yeah, probably financially too. So oh, I got. I got. I got. I got a question. No, no, call her, call her, call her, call her. She probably works, too. She listen, probably works. Listen, man, listen. She don't need social media. She can go to the gas station and find a nigga, man. She got a job. No, I, I, I know. Yeah, she, she, uh, she fucking, she worked with kids in a dental office. She like, oh, yeah, be niggas dropping their kids off. Single dads in there. Jan them janitor <laughs> niggas. <laughs> them janitor <look, them> jan <laughs> <laughs> jan niggas. Them janitor niggas jingling keys, brother. Oh, like yeah, niggas. Nigga. One of these OG niggas, niggas dropping their little nieces or nephews off. Yeah. Hey, what's up, girl? What you got going? Oh, he did that to you? Nah, he hey, he on the road that long? Bro, oh, I, I, I didn't know, bro. Like, 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 I, I, you know, I just want to hear what y'all had to say. Like, I don't really care about the situation, you know? I don't no, care. Bro, I'm lying. I'm lying. Yes, you do. Don't check. Don't, got, all I'm going to say is don't check. Don't check the Facebook I mean, her FaceTime uh, messages, dog, because they don't come up on the phone bill. So I'm letting hey. you know, FaceTime is cracking for her. Hey, listen, call her. Since you don't really care about the situation, call her. Call her. Listen, hey, 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 listen. Since you really don't care about oh, the situation. Oh, he exposed himself. I'm going to hang up on you. I'm going to hang up on you. He looked through her phone. Yeah, you remember Mr. Door. He looked through her phone. On a drunk night, wait, 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 call her, call her, You say you don't care about the situation, but you called in to ask questions and you're going through her phone. Really, you're going through her phone, nigga. it's over. I went through the phone one time just because you know don't trust her. her. You don't you trust her one time, like it's like that. That makes it better. Oh, it's just one time. You know All right, man, we, got, on a we, got we got other calls, bro. Since you don't care about the situation, I'm gonna hang up on you so we can get to the other calls. Stop, 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 like, stop letting your woman punk you or she's gonna punk you, bro. That's basically that nigga, that nigga drove his truck into a tree, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, I ain't really tripping, but I just wanted to know. Fuck out of here. 203-203. You are on live with the Real Game 03 panel. Name Aid City. How can we help you? 203, go ahead. Now, nah, what's up yes, to the panel? Look, 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 look. You got to look at your area code. Do you know your phone number? Is the, If your area code is 203, you should be the only one talking right now, okay? God damn. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Go ahead. Bro. Name, age, and city. Yeah, what's up to the panel? This is Steve from New York. I'm 28 years old. All right, what's up, Steve from New York, 28 years old? Go ahead. All right, so I'm just starting off that I definitely have no game. But I do have a question, though. 
All right, go ahead. Uh, so I wanted to know how you differentiate like a woman questioning me and just asking me a question. Okay, so basically a woman questioning you means that she is trying to go against your leadership or your program. But you need to have a program first for that if to even occur. So if you have no program, she's not questioning you because questioning you is basically giving you resistance based on what you're doing. Now, asking you a question is just getting clarity on what's being said or what's happening. So if you say, hey, we're going to do this. And she says, oh, uh, you know, I was curious about this, this and that. That's just her asking a question. You see what I'm saying? But if you don't have no program, a woman can't really question you. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it doesn't even matter at this point anyway. Yeah, basically, call her. Call her. The 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 question that that the woman is asking you is to is for clarity, so she can help you to accomplish whatever it is you want to accomplish. Now, a woman, a woman just questioning you is her asking questions because she's questioning your leadership. So, like Lucario said, you got to actually have a program. Go ahead, KZ. No, I was going to say, yeah, call her. And a real quick example, just a little minor thing would be, let's say if a woman comes over. And y'all get done fucking, and you tell her she got to go home. She's like, how come I can't stay tonight? You got someone right. else coming over? That's her questioning you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. But, but, Carla, what are you trying to figure out? You, because you say you ain't got no game. What are you trying to figure out with this information? What are you trying to accomplish? No, I just, it was the subject matter, and I just wanted to. It was no more about the subject. Okay. About. All right. Well, well. See, you, 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 you got to get some coaching. You got to get a little bit more knowledge of self. And then because it, sometimes it's a type of thing where because chicks are very crafty, chicks know, yes, chicks know how to communicate, with, especially with niggas that are weak with no game. They know how to make it sound like they're being very supportive, but they're actually undermining you at the same fucking time. So you so it's really when you know who you are and what your program is, then you can really decipher if a chick is questioning you or asking you a question. You understand that? Her, her. So well, so this is on. basically a. a Vance question from from a from a basic dude. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Let me let me also say this, uh, caller. A lot of you guys have issues with women because you guys are inconsistent, right? Right. When when you're inconsistent, that basically means how you're moving doesn't match the shit that you say. Yeah. Right. Once a woman encounters that, her ability to trust you and believe in what you got going on ceases to exist. So that's when you get women questioning you and. You get the argumentative shit going on because the woman no longer feels like she can trust her well-being in your hands. Right, right. Sense. All right, call it. So, uh, so you good? Yeah, I'm good. Appreciate you. Appreciate the game. All right, man. Have Thanks, man. All right, be safe out there. All right, so we got uh, 347. 347, you're on live with the Real Game No Theory panel. Name, age, city. How can we help you? My name is LeVon. I'm 20 and I'm in Massachusetts. All right, go ahead, man. All right, so I'm just going to get straight to the point with you guys. Growing up, I was not given no game whatsoever. When I reached out to some males in my family to get some game, I was not feeling what they was telling me. So I'm on the show today to ask you guys, you know, can you guys give me some advice on game and how I can go about getting laid with two women today? Because I believe Miles has a book called How to Speak to Women. How old are you call her? How do you call her? Hey, sir. Okay, so if you want to go, if you want to be a lawyer, you go to where? Law school, right? If you want to be a doctor, you go to what? Medical school, right? So if you want to learn game, you got to be a student of it, right? So instead of sitting around here, I'm sorry? I said, can you repeat that again? I missed what you said. Man, motherfucker, fix your fucking phone. I'm going to say this one goddamn last time. If you want to be a fucking lawyer, you go to law school. If you want to be a doctor, you go to medical school. So if you want to be a student of the game, you need to get you need to get with one of these men on the on the uh, email them. I say back in no diddy, but email them <laughs> and email them and let and and find the person that can help you and then start start that way because your problem is not getting women. You got a lot of internal issues, dog, that you got to fix. Did. Niggas fuck well, bitches well, without did. game every day. Like well, this is see, not and, a problem. And and that's the issue that I have because he said he used the word game and getting laid in the same sentence. Right. As if to suggest uh, learning game is all about getting pussy, and and mm. that's your, and like Steve was saying, that's your problem. You have no foundation to work from, meaning right. that you don't even know what it means to be a man. You need to be that first. Okay. 
So, caller, are you trying to get laid, okay. or you are you trying to are you trying to understand game? Because that's two different things. <laughs> Can you explain the difference between game and getting laid? No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. Game has more to do with knowledge of self. But if you really want to understand game, you got to you got to get with somebody on this on this panel for coaching. Are you on anybody's program? Anybody's membership? Did you even buy a book? Did you even purchase this same book that you that you talking about? Okay, where do I get that book from? What's the website? Go to go to Mr. Locario dot com. And then just hit the store page. But caller, this is the thing you gotta understand, right? So so you want you wanna you wanna get sex, correct? Yes, sir. And the reason okay. and the reason why I wanted the reason why I tapped into you guys and wanted to ask a question because growing up, you know, a lot of the males in my family were simps and they was giving me simp advice and I and I wasn't going for it. So, so wait, where 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 you live at? Where do you live? Where do you live, caller? Massachusetts, Massachusetts, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Okay, you know you could take a, a plane to like Nevada. And go to the with the bunny ranch and pay for some pussy. Uh, yeah, I'm not that. That's that. That's not player. So I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing that. I'm trying to learn the game. Like, hey, hey, and you know what, bro? I'm. I'm gonna tell you, dog. I, I know why you said what you said. The word, but dog, put some respect on being a player. Nigga. Look, you will never be a player, dog. Just find you one cool bitch <laughs> for real. Teach her. And be happy with her, man. Look, let me just tell y'all something. We're not on here glorifying being with multiple bitches. Mm. There's a chosen few of men that have that capability. You need to understand you're so far behind the needle. This is not going to happen for you, sir. Okay? Now, you can probably get gamed up and get have casual sex with, with multiple women, but you will never be a player. It, mm. it, that, that is something that, forget that. You can learn some game, though. But you will never be a player. And so, so caller, the thing is, the thing also too you gotta understand is I understand because you're young and you want to, you know, and you, I know you want to hook up with girls. You're, you're fucking probably horny as shit and all that other stupid shit, right? But what we're trying to tell you is, and this is what Steve was saying, is that you need to become a student of the game because with that you will understand yourself, which is going to make you attractive, which is going to want, to, it was going to make women want to have sex with you. You see what I'm saying? So you become that guy that women are attracted to. That's that's how that's that's part of when we teach you game, you'll understand that, right? But you're at the place where it's almost it almost sounds like you called in because you wanted us to give you like some some answer that was going to help you and you got off the phone and you were just going to use it tonight and get some sex. That's not how it's going to work. You see what yeah. I'm saying? So you got to actually like get a coach. This that's is what we're trying to tell you. You, yeah, you got to you got to you got to crawl for you all. You got to get a, a phone number first, bro. Yeah, right. get your get your uh in, in, invest in yourself, brother. Get get with somebody on this panel. Get get on somebody website. We got we got the manmindset.com. We got uh manhoodisaskillset.com. We got uh King Dre on uh on TikTok. We got Gateway to Game. We got Bad Boy membership and we got masculineidentity.com. So you, you everybody's here for you, bro. You know what I'm saying? But you got to make that investment. All right? I got you. I got you, man. All right, brother. Take care. All right. So we got uh nine one nine nine one nine. You are on live with the real game no theory panel. Name, age, city, and how can we help you? Um, um, <clears throat> my name is Todrick, and I'm 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 like looking at King King Dre's um information that he has, but I'm an older guy. How how old are but, you? Um, how old are you, sir? I'm forty five. Forty five. Okay. What's your question? But ba but basically basically I, I I don't have a question. I just want to tell King Dre thank you for putting that information out there, mm -hmm. and um and I'm and I'm going to do that thing he got he has coming up shortly, and I mean I'm just I, I never I never ever like had this information, so that's why I went through all the things I went through in life. Mm. But I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now. If you start crying, nigga, I'm I'm coming for you, nigga. <laughs> Man. Stand strong, nigga. Man, these dudes ruthless, chest, my nigga. Uh, these dudes ruthless. You better, you better hold them tears in. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was taking, giving us a testimony, uh, a, nigga. His, his, hey. his voice started hey. cracking and shit. I hey, thought that nigga getting real silent, like he was having hey, spaces right. where he was about to weep. No, no, seriously, King J, I, I, I want to say thank you, man. For sure, um, appreciate you, I my really, brother. I really appreciate. I truly appreciate it. All right. Appreciate you, yeah.
All right, now, See, now it's, we, it's, you know, the game, the game, the game gets you emotional. You know what I'm saying? They be getting emotional because they, <laughs> they start to wake up. They be like, oh my God, I was yeah, sipping all this time. <laughs> I knew I was going to say they, they, they crying <laughs> tears of joy. They crying tears of joy after the awakening. I knew I wasn't supposed to get that bitch $80 after we had sex every time. I knew it. Hey, hey, y'all hell, bro. I appreciate it, man. So so I appreciate you, brother. Yeah, I appreciate you, bro. Keep going. Keep going. Hold on one second. You 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 said you went through some real shit. You you mind you mind telling us a little bit of a little bit of your story? Okay, folks. Yeah, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. I can tell you. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. I, 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 I was married and um basically I um I let myself go. I didn't know the foundation. I didn't know the foundation of what a man should do. Mm-hmm. And basically I was I was sitting there and my and when I was living with my wife, I didn't have my foundational shit like King Dre was teaching. I didn't have my foundational shit in order. I didn't have I didn't have all the basic shit in order. Okay, go ahead. So uh-huh. basically, I, I was I was disrespected because of that. Oh, but and then what happened ultimately? She divorced this, you. Um, Dominique, how you doing, today, bro? Yeah, she, she moved on. She moved on, but I'm fine with that. Okay, okay. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. That's how it is, man. As a, as a man, you gotta you gotta be you gotta be be fine with shit. Cause you can't control everything. It's a, you can only control yourself. Right. All right, brother. All right. All right. Well, thank you for sharing your story. Thanks for calling in, and you take care. Yes, sir. All right. So we got. Yeah, um, that was funny, bro. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> we got seven oh three, seven oh three. You are on, on live. Bro. You knew that nigga was about to cry. You knew <laughs> <that>. <laughs> Yo, seven oh three, seven zero three. How that's you doing? Oh fuck. Seven zero three. Go ahead. This Dominique. How you doing today? Y'all friends. All right, seven zero three. Name, age, city. Dominique, how old are you? I'm I'm thirty. I'm thirty four. Okay, what's your question? Question is, I I got I got crash the song by two pounds. Hold up, I'm trying to save you from the panel. Please act like a fucking man. Let your balls drop and speak up correctly. Get off the fucking speakerphone. Get on your regular phone and talk like a fucking man. Take your bitch ass on, man. <laughs> Seven oh three. Can you speak directly into the phone? Fuck. I'm here, I'm here, bro. I'm just chilling. I have a good day, though, Kim Foss. Oh man, fuck you, man. Get the fight, man. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, now, how many different ways can you cook shrimp? Cause you got shrimp gumbo, shrimp stew, shrimp. <laughs> I cook good. This is stuff, though, Kim Foss. Shit, I good shit. All right, uh, we got five zero four. Five zero four, you're on live with the Real Game 03 panel. Name eight city. How can we help you? Five zero four, go ahead. Yo, this is uh, from Louisiana. All right, all right, five zero four. Go ahead, bro. My bad. Go ahead. Yeah, this is Pedro P. Uh, from Louisiana, New Orleans. Okay, how old are you? I'm under uh, stage coaching. I'm eighteen. Okay, all right. Go ahead. What's your question, brother? So yeah, um, I got a question for y'all. So I currently got enlisted in the army. Like I already got a shipping date and everything. Okay. And I got a girl, right? Thank you for your service. And me okay. and her, we've been together. We we we've been together for like a year and three months. Okay. And I don't know how to move because I've never been in this type of situation before. You know what I mean? Let so let, I, let, it, let it go, brother, and go and handle like, your business. Let it, oh my God. Let, let it go. Let, let it go and handle your business. You 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 can't get caught up in, you know, you finna they finna ship your ass. It's already about to get crazy. They about to ship your ass over there. Look, you don't need that to be weighing you down because she gonna get fucked for sure. Yeah. Y'all young bro listen young you know, I've been thinking that too. Yeah, yeah. I ran, I ran just attacked oh. Israel. So yeah, we yeah. Just let it go, bro. Let it go. So, so, so color, are you are you are you going to basic or are you actually um getting deployed? I'm getting I'm going to basic right now. Okay, so I was in the army, bro. When I was in basic training, I ain't had no girlfriend, but all them niggas that had girlfriends, basic is only two months long. Within 30 days, they was getting dear Jody letters. The chicks was all creeping and, and, and leaving them niggas. So, so Queen, Queen Dre is right. Bro, women cannot, especially that young, they ain't waiting no two months, my brother. Go yeah, ahead and leave, leave the, and for all you niggas going to college, same thing for y'all. 
Leave right. the relationship. Can it, build yourself, bro. You 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 starting that you you starting at a, at a time in the game where you can't really compete. I mean, you can, but the competition is stiff. You got you know dudes out here that got real game. They got not only do they got game, they got like the tools and the experiences and the bread and shit and all type of shit to entice your little young minded chick, bro. Mm. And you not there to to you know you not there to to you know mm. give her the attention she need or. You know, give leadership and direction. Yeah. What that's gonna do though, what, what happens with a lot of guys like you is y'all give up your hopes and your dreams in order to try to keep a woman, a little young chick that's gonna end up doing you dirty anyway. So right. let that go and go start to build yourself as a man because, like I said, you want to be able to compete because it's it's tough out here. And as a 18 year old kid, you don't really got no game. You don't know yourself. You ain't got no fucking money. You ain't got. You don't really have anything. You understand? And so you're right, you're right. you out here, you out here in a game where niggas got it all. And it's tricks and everything. These niggas will buy your bitch or rent her <laughs> right. and all type of shit. And, and if your game ain't strong, she gon' she gon', you know, and that's more than likely what's gonna happen. So let that go and focus on yourself and focus on building yourself as a man and building your foundation. Don't even worry about that, bro. You got all the time in the world. Stop trying to save some little high school puppy dog relationship because it ain't gonna work. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and yo, your head need to be in the game anyway, cause you know it's about to get crazy. Facts, caller. Oh yeah, bro, caller, you got that? that? Oh, everybody, be you got that, bro? <laughs> yeah, I got it. All, all right, right, man. Bro. Hey, 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 appreciate you, man. Thank you for your service. Keep your head down and uh, take it easy. All right. Hey, no problem. Thank y'all for the panel, man. All right, bro. I really appreciate that. Yes, sir. Keep three. All right, we got seven zero three seven zero three. You are on line with the real game 03 panel. Name, age, city. How can we help you? Seven zero three. Go ahead. 70. Oh. I got anonymous. Y'all want to answer the anonymous? See what yeah, happens? Yeah, answer. Just fuck it. Just... All right. Uh, anonymous, you on, you, on, uh, you on live with the real game, no three panel. Name, eight city. What's up? Does Miles Cunningham soap stop eczema for the dry skin? And is odor is it odor free? This is why, this is why I don't pick up, dog. No, no. Caller, does it come caller, in a bay room? Caller, really caller, room. caller. Do you really want to know about this soap? Or are you just fucking around? No, no, no. no. I really want to know. Miles looks cool. The packaging, my hair, all about it. Okay. No, no. You know what? This good. This is good because I want y'all to learn something. As soon as this bitch ass motherfucker gets on the phone, he'll go to his phone and look at that bitch he been trying to fuck for five years, knowing he ain't gonna get no pussy. So we already know the story. So you can talk all the shit you want, but please understand this: that bitch ain't gonna fuck you that you running behind. So you can laugh and shuck and jive all you want, but we all know that you running behind a bitch right now that ain't fucking with you. So instead of asking for help like you need, you bitch motherfucker, you think you want to be funny. So the jokes on your ass. So take your ass on, run behind that bitch, and know she gonna be looking at us. Joy's not a joke, in my opinion. All right. And and and, and caller. In addition, go, if you really want to know about this soap, go to uh, you know, go to masculineidentity.com. Masculineidentity.com. If y'all want to know about the soap, hey, y'all, man. If y'all do some data on anonymous calls, they all fuck boys. Most most right. of the high percentage. <laughs> true. true, it's true. You're right. Man. All right. That's um, cool. and uh, I think it was a a, a five four zero that uh, they called in. Um, got uh, yeah, five four zero call back. Go ahead. Go ahead and call back five four zero. Uh and um and for anybody else, uh nine one nine six four seven nine three nine two. Okay, here we go. All right, so we got two one six. Two one six, you're on live with the real game no three panel. Name eight city. How can we help you? My name Tay. I'm twenty six years old. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Shout out King Dre. Um, my question was, what's been the most profitable skill y'all to learn? What been y'all most effective marketing tool as far as getting y'all name out there for y'all businesses? Um, I think I think everybody on the panel probably got a slightly different answer. Um, for me personally, is I think it's been YouTube and Instagram. Uh, Dre, go ahead. My skill skill wise is is sales. Mm. Um, because you could you could it's basically game in the business world. You can have mm. the best product. This ain't like drugs where you know the dope gonna sell itself. It's not like that. So you mm. know if you if you got the game but you can't get it to a motherfucker to where they'll buy it. Then you ain't gonna really be nothing, and I didn't start making no money in this until I learned that. So, uh, just basically sales and learning how to create content, basically. Yeah, yeah. I, I think for me, I got I got several businesses, but I, my main business um, 
for me, it's always been professionalism and making sure that they feel like that it's this is a straight partnership. You know, when mm-hmm. you when you can in, when you can invest a client and make them feel like almost like they're a part of your business, you 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 are really having them invested. So one of the things that that we use a lot of times is when we come to them, we always ask them, what type of services are you looking for? And anything unique you haven't asked for that we can do for you, right? So for us, it's including them on a lot of these things. I don't come say, a lot of companies just come and they just throw at, they throw at you, oh, this will be do. Here's 10 things we do, right? And this is, and they, and they sell it. That's how they sell it. See, I come and I include them on the services they're actually looking for. So that's, that's a unique way of bringing people into your business without bringing people into your business, making them feel a part of the decisions. Yeah. Yeah. Real talk. I would just say uh, one of the main things is, uh, is consistency. So the, the, for most people, I think the reason why they never get nowhere is, is cause they're not consistent. Um, and you know, they, they just give up too quickly. So they don't actually, uh, get to that stride of where they need to go. Cause this is the thing about consistency. What happens is even if you're, uh, making moves that aren't really helping you, the fact that you're consistent at some point, you're going to get to the point where you realize, oh, well, this isn't helping me. So let me pivot this way. And then I can get success that way. But you you can only do that through consistency because the, the main point is that you're consistent no matter what. So you're going to fix whatever issues need to be fixed to get you to success. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll add to that real quick. Uh, consistency and se- like selling yourself. Mm-hmm. OK, selling yourself, because like, for example, all, all six of us on this panel kind of, you know, s- do similar things. But there's somebody on this panel that you're going to gravitate to. And right. and, you know, even even my, my whole thing is, you know, masculine identity, meaning that I'm a man and I am a specific man. I'm a certain person. You understand? And I know that there's there's a there's there's a, a constituency, a, a demographic that's going to fuck with me because it's me. You see what I'm saying? And then right. once I, once we establish a consistency in the personality and the character behind the product, then we establish consistency in content and consistency in business practices and everything like that. But you got to be consistent in character and then understand that people are buying you. You understand? Because right. niggas can get soap any fucking where. You get soap at Walmart for 99 cents. But it's niggas that buy my soap because they know, yo, Miles, Miles be talking about that soap and it smell a certain way and it, 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 it just is a certain way and that's what they're really buying they're buying that that individuality right. i would i would say to to piggyback off what miles just said relatability right it, mm-hmm. it boils down to relatability and a lot of times especially with with what we do because you see our face you hear our voice and and we put a little bit of our personality out there so yeah. so depending on how relatable we are to who's listening to us that's 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 uh, the type of business that we're going to end up having them based on who gravitates to us. But like what King Dre was saying, if people gravitate to you, but you don't know the business aspect of what you're doing, it won't matter. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So you, so you still have to know, okay, I got these people gravitating to me, but, but how do I uh, get them to experience me in such a way where they actually want to become clientele? Right. Uh, Steve? Mm. Yeah, for me, uh, hustle mentality, man. You just got to, again, you just got to uh, have a drive unlike uh, the average people. I mean, I rarely, it's it's even hard to sleep and eat. You're so busy in your craft and what you're doing. So you, you just got to have, it's got to be a kind of a passion for you and a drive that pushes you beyond uh Wanting to go to sleep. I mean, I always, I, I, I can understand. I can explain these three, these six men, these five men, without even even knowing them to see how much game they have. When the when the fountain becomes a dam and the information starts to flow, and that's what game does. It it, it doesn't turn off. And the, and the hardest thing to do is try to shut your mind off when you have all these ideas, thoughts, and all this other stuff. So it's not just having an idea; it's actually putting it down and doing something with it. So it's just. Not saying I want a business. It's getting off your lazy ass and, and making that shit happen, big guy. Yeah. One more, one more thing, too. Um, what I've learned in doing this, because I was, you know, from the street, so it's always a take, take, take. Like, I had a take mentality. Take, get, I got to get mine. The game is be sold, not told, and all that. But it don't work like that no more. It's give, give. And, and not necessarily give your product, product away, but give value. Like what we're doing now. We're giving our time, and we're giving value. 
You understand? Yep. Gone are the days where you know you open your Instagram and and you know if 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 every time you opened your Instagram and you saw or every time you opened up YouTube, it was the video of Lacario, Lacario saying, buy my book, buy my book. You mm -hmm. wouldn't fuck with him. The reason you fuck with him and you get on a membership or the reason you fuck with Miles and you get on a membership is because you they've built trust and they've given you something. They've given you value. And so mm -hmm. now people are comfortable and they trust spending their money with him. So that's what it's about, you know, yeah. learning how to give and give value first. You yep. know, and I would also say um, you, you got to be passionate about what you do. If mm -hmm. you don't believe in it, how do you tell the people that believe in what you're doing? Yeah. So, so call it any any follow up questions or you good or what? Uh, just I just ask whenever y'all do this, if we if y'all ever get the chance to do this again, how y'all names on display on the screen? Because I'm tapped in with King Dre, but I want to tap in with the rest of y'all, but I don't see nobody name up there. That's it. That's all. But okay. I appreciate y'all, and you feel me? Keep doing y'all thing. Okay, sure, all right, sure. we appreciate you, man. Thanks for the call. That was a good question, man. That was a good question. All right. Let me let me let me, let me say something about a comment that I saw. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vision home. He said, "Any man can have multiple women." In theory, yes. In reality, no. <laughs> no, no. Some oh, right. some some of y'all niggas are too mentally fragile to even deal with one woman, let alone multiple women. Like, yeah, and I don't know why you want every woman anyway, though. Wait, wait, right. wait. Yeah, well. What does it matter if any nigga have multiple women, bitch? You ain't got it. Okay, if you got to say it, you ain't got it, motherfucker. What the fuck are you talking about? Why, wait, who the fuck said the game was even about women, motherfucker? Who gives a fuck of what you can have, bitch? You ain't got no game. Because if you had a game, you call the fuck in instead of saying some sidebar bitch ass shit. Y'all fucking follow me. You know, you know, it's funny. A lot of guys, a lot of guys don't have the uh, like. They're most guys are too sensitive and in their feelings to have multiple women. You understand what I'm saying? It's it's they they because people forget that uh, you know dealing with multiple women takes uh, time and energy and mm -hmm. and, and, it's, it's and, and making it's right. It's, it's a lot of it's things that go down with that. So it's like yeah. like you're saying with the other caller. If he, he's talking about when he was with other women. It's like if he can't deal with one woman dealing with multiple women don't even make sense so a lot of you guys have to first know how to manage and relate and deal with one woman first you know? exactly all right five six one you're on live with the real game no three panel name eight city how can we help you all right so uh name is louis age is uh 35 and city is uh boynton beach okay all right what's your question brother so, um, quick question. Um, I just want to say I appreciate y'all fellas for, you know, doing what y'all do. Yes, sir. Um, my The issue I'm dealing with right now is, um, I think, Miles, you can actually can um, relate to this one. I, I'm in photography, and the issue I'm having right now is that uh, the women I'm dealing with, uh, once I bring them into the work that I do and they see me interacting with other women, yeah. they tend to get a bit insecure or whatnot. And then what ends up happening is I got to train new women, you know, bring them in. And then trying to, you know, get the productivity out of them. I, w I wanted to know is what tips do you have when it comes to like managing their insecurities? Okay, so you're trying to manage the insecurities of the woman that you're dating? Uh, well, so what I typically do is I'll date them. But um, when it comes down to my business, whatever woman I'm dealing with, she has to be able to benefit my business. So okay, the, no, wait, wait, wait. All right. So the <laughs> woman, how many women are you having these issues with right now? How many women? Well, right now I'm only having it with two. With two, okay. How long have you been dealing with these women? Uh, a little over six months. A little over six months. Okay. See, so <clears throat> I think that's too quick. <laughs> yeah. Do you do you know anything about the vetting process? Uh, vetting in terms of which part? Do I? Right, how long do you vet a woman before you either you bring her into your business or make her your girl? How long would you? How long would you? What's your timeline for that? Typically about the six months to a year mark, depending on how competent she is. Oh my God! Why do you hate yourself? Six months to a year. So, so you, okay. So that's what I'm saying. The uh. the, problem, the reason why you're having problems that you're having is that you haven't established certain consistencies yet. Okay, you're you're moving into situations too quickly. When you move into situations without discipline too quickly, the woman doesn't trust that you're going to make decisions out of discipline. Do you understand that? She she thinks that you're going to be uh, amazed by the next pretty face that comes into your photography situation. She doesn't trust that you have 
the steady judgment and the patience and wherewithal to to stay focused in the face of a pretty bitch because they see how you respond to them so they think you're going to respond the same way to the next pretty chick do you understand that yeah um, but I see wait, what why, call it, why, why the move the, so the only thing i would add to that is this if call i don't it. have them anywhere near my business and they never see me interact with other women call it's it. not a problem the sure. problem Caller, will you shut the fuck up, please? Caller, hold on, hold on one second. Caller, why are you acting so fucking weak? Why are you bring a bitch on you fucking with, fucking with your money like that? That's dirty macking. Why the fuck can't you teach that? Have that woman on the side and fuck her and have your business on the side. Why are you going to bring a woman in to fuck your shit up? Why would you do that to yourself? Women, women never get to a point where they can mess in your my stuff up. What I'm talking about is the behavior. Listen, listen, no, no, let's check, check it out, check it out real quick. Oh if 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 you stressing about something and you may not think it's stress, but it's stress. I bet you if 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 they talk shit to you or y'all get into a little scuffle and then you take your blood pressure, you see what I was talking about. And the fact <clears> that you even call it lets me know that it's it's bothering you. And so. It, it's not that they because what I'm saying is that little bit of stress compounds and right. eventually it may not it may not you may not see a dip in your business right now, but eventually it's going to wear you down and tire you out till it starts. It's going to start showing in your work and showing up in your in, in, in you know, manifesting in the quality of your business. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? So like you say, like if if it's five, six months, a woman shouldn't be nowhere even near your shit. Or, or this is what I do. This is who I am. Shut the fuck up about it. Yeah, yes, women are women are very territorial. When they like you and they love you and all that shit, they territorial. They want to possess you. They don't want them because you got to think, right? And this is for all you hypergamy niggas that be like, oh, women want the best and all this. So you think she don't want the best? You think she don't want to keep it? So they get insecure, right? Mm -hmm. But the key is you have to let a woman know, and this is the game. You have to let a woman know that you're not responsible for managing her insecurities because exactly. her have nothing to do with you. And mm -hmm. you have to tell them that. You mm -hmm. can't expect them to know this. You have to t physically tell them, hey, listen, I can't manage it. <clears throat> I know I'm doing it 100. This is my business. This is what I do. If you feel like that, do something about it. And so if like, you don't fuck with me, don't stress me out about no bullshit. Right. And let me and let me and let me let me teach you some real business game, right? So is she on payroll? No. Okay. So let me let me tell you what happens, right? Go. She is giving you labor for a business that you're making money from. Let me tell you something. If she did that for a year and a half and y'all broke up and you never put her on some type of uh, 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 a payment or for, for a check, what's going to happen is she can go to the labor board and say she worked all these hours and never was paid. Mm. And do you know that labor board is always employee friendly? Mm -hmm. Did you know that? Think. Fuck. Okay. I ain't think about that. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you that because what, what you're doing is she's giving you labor, but it was never negotiated on how what, what the amount or she wasn't getting paid. You mm -hmm. need to have her sign a contract drawn up from a lawyer saying she's volunteering her time for for this or for that or for whatever, you know what I mean? But she's volunteering her time with no payment. Therefore, you protect yourself in your business. Otherwise, dog, and this is how you motherfuckers get caught up with, with these women. Y'all think down the road that your game is so tight that she will never be spiteful if you let the bitch go. The bitch mm. will become spiteful and come get a hold of you, my nigga. Nigga, Wait. just think about it like this. A year and a half of unpaid wages. Even if you was paying that bitch minimum wage, nigga, you're looking at 30 bands. 30 to 40 bands. That's not including the the the, the interest and, and what they're going to slap you with with interest and, and penalty fees for breaking fucking laws, my nigga. And that's not even work. Look, workman's comp. I'm telling you this, nigga, because I'm, nigga, this is I, daily. I do this. Workman's comp. Nigga, alone. No, you can't get away from workman's comp. Hourly wages that you're supposed to pay workman's comp for somebody working for your business. Mm. Ver, 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 verbal means nothing to the court. 
You are right. a business owner. They expect you to lead. They expect you to have paperwork on everybody that's working for you or around you for the business. Well, and, hey, let me, and, let and me, you let doing me and this. you doing too. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, let me say this real quick. Part, part of the problem is you have no foundation where there's boundaries and parameters set, right? Where women know how to conduct themselves. Now, and that's completely separate from from what from what Fifth Dre and everybody is talking about the business aspect of it. You're mixing business with you are allowing your dick and and your and the fact that you got a tender dick. You are allowing that to interfere with your business where you got women coming into the situation. And they battle it. Hey, bro, you yeah. should never have. Exactly. And uh, real quick, shout out to Ra- Raji for the 1999 Super Chat. Shout out to Raji real quick. All right, go ahead. And, 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 and you got to think. You got to think. And, and this is, like you say, it's, it start with you. And, it, and you got to look in the mirror. And you got to ask yourself, at six months, why is she even comfortable letting that side of herself even show? Because typically, if a woman likes you and she respects you, even if she feels something... She will control herself in order to not upset you or mm. in order to not, you know, uh, uh, fuck her game up or fuck her shit up. She'll exactly. at least wait until a couple years is until she, you know, she got a kid or something before she starts showing her hand. But the fact a woman is showing her hand and not controlling herself six months in, that's it, that's holes in your game and the way that you kicking it and how mm. comfortable you letting the bitch get around you. You understand? Right. So, especially right. early. And so, yeah. Let me ask you. Oh, let me I'm ask you this thinking. question. I want I, I want to know this. So so what is she doing specifically for you? Oh, so uh, simple stuff like um carrying you know carrying around equipment, um helping pose clients and stuff like that. Nothing too major. I, don't, I never let a woman that, get that's a, that's major. That's a lot of shit, bro. That's, that's a, a lot of major. That's a lot of major. Hold on, real quick. Here's here's what I want you to do. I want you to try to be objective. All of that, nothing that major is not a big deal. Just stop it, bro. You called in to get help. Just answer the question, bro. Stop stop all that. It's not a big deal. It's not nothing major. It's major enough for you to fucking call in. So let's deal with it as it is, okay? Right. And, and how, 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 when did this start? Cause you said you've been with this woman for six months. At what point did this start? No, I'm saying so I'll say probably about seven, about the seven month mark. Mm. Okay. So, so you've been, so she's been doing it for about a month. Okay. We, okay. Then uh, I don't think I answered, uh, understood your question, right? Which part are you asking? What part? What yeah, part yeah, I'm what? asking at what point, did she start helping you with your business? At what point in the relationship? You said you've been with this woman for six or seven months. Did she start as a fourth month? Did she start at the sixth month? When did she start helping you with the business? About the sixth month. Okay, so she's been helping for about a month. Yeah. And and how often is this? Is this every day, every weekend? Like how often? About weekend. So, so she's helped you like let's say four times in the last in the last month that y'all been dealing with each other. Yeah, about four or five. Okay, and so at what point did you have a conversation with her about the protocol of what's supposed to go down when you're doing these photo shoots? Because you're saying that she's coming at you with like issues. So, what, did you have a conversation about that or anything? Well, basically, the way the way it started off was uh, she was offering help, and when she offered the help, like she, because okay, so I have my, so I have like a, I how could you say it? like a, a SOP, like a standard operating procedure, and uh, she was in my studio one time, and she checked it out, and she was offered her help on what she could do. Right. Okay. 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 And and. <laughs> Let, let me let me ask the caller yeah, a real quick question. Hold on, Zach. Hold on. Let him finish it. Let him finish it. I went ahead and told her that what she could do off the list. And then she came in there trying to put down, basically. No, what it is is this. Again, most of the women that I meet nowadays typically is during my course of work. So they know what I do from day one. The issue is, is if I keep them up, apart from the business to the point where they don't see me on my day to day stuff interacting with different women. No what? issues, no problem at all. But it's once I actually have them like on set while I'm working with clients, what I'll notice is after they the shoot, okay, 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 I got them. I got them. Okay. They get so, jealous and shit. They're stressing you out. So, yeah, it's a so, and I can think so it's you're saying that I've lost women to that in the past. So what remember, I remember, it's, it's not, it's not, you it's not have me feedback on what I could do in terms of. Yeah, managing. you tell no, you tell her to manage her own fucking insecurities or get the fuck on somewhere. Wait, it's, it's not, 
Dre, it's him. It's this, it's this yeah, motherfucker, dog. You you the problem. He said, go the- ahead, Zach. Go go ahead, Zach, real so, quick. Go ahead. So, me, so, so call it. So hold on, real quick. So so call. I just want to understand this. So do you have more than one woman that you're dealing with at a time show up at the same location, or is it that they're getting jealous with the with the clientele? They get jealous with the clientele. Okay. Okay. So so the 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 incidents that you had with the women that were jealous of the clientele, did this happen more than once with the same woman getting jealous? It happened, it happened with a couple of other women in the past. That's why I'm saying. Bro, 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 listen, listen, listen to the question. Listen, Y'all recommend. Listen to, listen to my question. The women it's... who got jealous, did it happen on more than one occasion with the same woman? No. Hold on, hold on. Caller, why in the fucking holy fuck do you have a bitch with you showing any kind of attitude toward whatever the fuck you're doing and your weak fucking ass ain't checking her ass telling her if you act this way again, get your fucking ass on. You want to know why? Because you dirty mac and motherfucker, you're using your job to get some pussy. That's all you that's motherfucker. All, all you're doing is you're trying agree. to I would agree with this table part. Fuck up, bitch, because I'm trying to tell you something, dumb fuck. You weak motherfucker. You're using your photography to lure these fucking bitches in and then get some side pussy and then try to offer them to hold my bag. You get to hold my camera and then you want to make them jealous and shit. You a weak motherfucker. And I hope those bitches tell you got. You dirty, dirty I hate these motherfuckers, man. I hate these motherfuckers. <laughs> wait, uh, so wait, wait, call. Let me ask you this question real quick, real quick. So the job you're giving, the job you're giving this, these women, who was doing it before they came? They showed up. Mm. I do it myself. Okay, so so why didn't you hire somebody? Like, do you, so you do you need them to do? Like, do you need someone to help you with these things? Hold on one second, everybody. Hold on, hold on, hold on one second, everybody. Two, one, three. I'm gonna need you on mute, or I gotta get you to fuck up out of here. Two, one, three. All right, go All ahead. Right. So call. Yeah. So, 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 do you need someone to help you with those things? Uh, what it is is during di- different seasons and traffic goes up, it's easier to have somebody there. Yeah. Okay. So, so now I'm gonna tell you. Why, I'm gonna tell you why this shit is going the way it is, and I'm gonna tell you how to, t- t- to tell you how to fix this. Right. So. The reason why you're having these issues with these women is because you're giving them too much uh, attention and responsibility and importance too soon. So now when you give women too much importance too soon, they feel entitled. Do you understand what I'm saying? Also, what you're doing by giving them importance too soon makes them think you're going to give those clients that you're taking photos with importance soon. Does that make sense? That's exactly what I said earlier. That's, yeah. why she, that's why they're tripping because she part of the jealousy comes because chicks is gonna be jealous because they're gonna be jealous because they, they women. But what I'm right. saying is more often than not, they become way more jealous and more possessive and more clingy when they see that you're a guy who just takes on any woman quickly. So if you took right. on her quickly, you're gonna probably take on the next girl quickly. That's her mentality. Exactly. So when we tell you guys, if you're dealing with a woman and she's helping you with your business, this should be damn near your girlfriend or your wife or some shit that's helping you with your business, not just a random chick you dating. You no, see what I'm saying? Talking with, yeah. Yeah. And uh, real, real, quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, shout out to Boxing Plug Dave for the $2 Super Chat. He says, salute to the Real Game No Theory panel. Uh, hashtag villains. Hey, also, and one more and, thing. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, hey, shout out to Alvin. Well, hey, shout out to my you, nigga. You, you go because a, a lot. Of, I see. I see this happening to a lot of guys. Uh, because I, I get this as a lot. Uh, as a coach, a lot. Um, where women, I keep telling you, you got to stop letting women punk you and let them, mm-hmm. uh, letting them just spill their emotions all over the place. Yeah, women get jealous. They feel a certain type of way, especially if you have a business or anything the way you interact with women. Yeah. That's gonna always be. The, that's gonna be a not not a problem, but you're gonna run into that. 10 years down the line with your own, with your wife. The mm-hmm. thing is you have to let them know that they have to manage that. Yeah. If you don't trust me, don't fuck with me, but you're not going to stress me out, especially about something I'm not doing. So right. I'm working. And if you don't like a man like me who works, then get out of my life. 
You right. have you're gonna have to do that because you're gonna have that problem so long as you if, if, if you dealing with women and all that shit. Right. Mm-hmm. And talking to other women. Call it real quick. You you're 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 a photographer, right? What kind of what kind of shoots are you yeah. doing with these women? What kind of shoots exactly are you doing? I do primarily commercial work. Commercial work, okay. And do you do you find yourself like flirting and getting all buddy buddy and and friendly with these chicks on the on the on the on the on the job? Nah, it's not that. You know how you kind of got to maintain a certain amount of energy during the post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Best cool. Expressions, stuff like right, that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, but, Zach. Um, what's up? What's up, Zach? No, what's going on? Because he said it earlier, and I don't know if this was addressed. Uh-huh. Some of the women that he's fucking with, that he's having work for him, he met them at photo shoots. Yeah, well, so that's what I was saying. Yeah, it yeah. stands to reason that, oh, now you're having me work for you. You met me on a photo shoot. Why you smiling at that bitch? That's a new bitch you're meeting on a photo exactly. shoot. This is, this, is what I, this is what I was going to get to. This is what I was going to get. Ultimately, what I was going to get to, Carla, is because me as a photographer, <clears throat> there was always something a little bit off about fucking with my clients. For me. So I never, I ultimately, I never fucked with my clients. Mm. Like I would, I would, I would, I, you know, I'd, I'd let a chick know. I probably end up going to dinner, you know, smashy, smashy. But I never got into full on relationships with any of my clients. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? I got you. So, the, so you're running, you're running, you're running a, you're running a lazy ship. You're like the guy who wants to holla at the bitches at his job all the fucking time. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, and, and call her. And call her. Hey, how 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 well do you do outside of your business with women? Mm, that's the real quick. We all know he does. I, I do just fine. I do just you, fine. you said what? Just fine with women. You and said what? Women outside of the outside of the okay. Job. And I and I and I was sure that you was going to say that. But so let me let me ask you why. Why mess up your money when you know you do well outside of your business? No, like I, but like I was saying before, Just the only it. time I have any of the issues is when I choose to bring a woman. Yeah, I, I need you to answer the question. Oh my god! I need you to answer the question, and I'm asking you this question: Is you keep going into the same pool when it's several pools that you can go in? Why do you keep doing the same no. thing? Dirty Mackin. The only, the only woman, the only woman that I met from work that I had actually helped me in work was the one that we were referring to, the first one. So let me that's tell you why. Let me tell you my philosophy on why. Yeah, let me tell you why. In my philosophy on on this too, it's it's all dirty, man. And we know, but what I what I what I really think is the quality of woman that you meet in a responsible setting that you control. That is the part of the one. That's the woman that you actually feel outside of that. I don't know if you meet those same type of women. And I'm saying because you are using your business to get women. Mm. If not, you would not ever fuck your money up. Ever. I got clients. I got clients that no, none of them fuck my money up though. I want to be clear about that. Jesus. Listen, 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 listen. Any stress fucks your money up. Anytime you thinking about anything other than your business, it's fucking your money up. Exactly. It, it may not seem like it right now. I, mean, I but can't compound. Niggas, bro. Y- y'all calling in, asking saying, questions, right? and then you always want to downplay the fucking issues you're having. Go ahead, Zach. No, real, let me say this, Colin. It just hit me like a ton of bricks. What's going on? Because you said earlier that that she saw, you know, your little agreements, and she wanted to. She volunteered her services. The reason mm-hmm. why she's volunteering is to keep an eye on you. Right? Exactly. Because you met her at a photo shoot. So she ain't volunteering because she really want to help out. She's volunteering because she's a t- like King Dre said it earlier. She's territorial and she wants to make sure she pits it on her tree. And you the mm-hmm. tree, nigga. So that's why she wants to go on the photo shoots mm-hmm. to make sure you ain't meeting no new bitches. Because I and, guarantee and you, so you, once you get a ring, once you, once you get in there and she lock you down, she's going to stop. Mm-hmm. I guarantee you, she's going to stop. So yeah. so so call it the bottom line is stop fucking with bitches that you work with, bro. Leave it just 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 keep it professional and then and then since you since you claim you have no problem fucking with women in general, just fuck with chicks outside the job, bro. That's it. Right. Yeah. And I just want to say something to this motherfucker right here. Excuse me, but hey, let me tell you something. Go hey, look, you want your bitch ass son and grandson to be like your punk bitch ass? Then then, then go ahead. Well, hey, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you know what? You know, it was probably my fault. It was probably my fault because I was, I was drinking my green juice. I was drinking my green juice. He probably think that's the cult drink. My bad. My yeah. bad. Man, I mean, I'm telling you, man, you can just see his whole profile yeah. picture. Just fucked up, yeah. loop, bitch. Fuck you. But, but, but call it, but call it. Just, 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 just try to, uh, you know, separate the shit. And if you do happen to fuck with a chick that 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 came into the picture from from photography, you gotta you gotta give it 18 months, bro. You gotta give it 12 to 18, not not six to 12. You need to give it. 12 to 18 because she needs to understand the consistency of your character mm-hmm. to understand that she has no reason to be jealous of how you interact with your clients. You understand that? Yeah, that's what's up. Uh, all right, brother. Back. All right, brother. We appreciate the call. Yep. Uh, you you have a good one, man. Be safe. All right, so we got 213. Two, two, one, oh, uh, real quick, we uh, Brian, the man with the $5 super chat, he says, the definition of insanity, insanity is doing the same thing and expecting re- different results. Salute to Sunday panel. Best show on Sunday. Facts. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> So we got 213. 213, you are on live with the Real Game No Theory panel. Name, Aid City. How can we help you? 213, go ahead. All right. My name is Rico. Rico, I'd like to shout out to all you players on the line giving this really good game. Absolutely free. Thank you so much. Okay. I'd like to say that. And then uh, my question is, actually, is how many of you there on, on the line actually have long-term successful relationships with one or two or three, like, how, 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 and then number two, the second half of the question is, is how do your old ladies feel about oh, what you're saying? And like, do they agree are you, what you're saying? Wait, are, you, are you serious? You're asking us how do how do our women feel about what we're saying? The fact that you're asking us is like, the we gotta issue. sneak off. Like we sneaking yeah, off. Like, like, like we don't like, know. Like, they don't know. <laughs> we're what we're in doing this we don't. We don't want them to hear what we're saying. No, you know, call it. Every time we get off off the off the show, we, we get into hour long argument with our girl because they don't like what we're saying. That's what happens. Yeah, and you know, I always try to tell men we we're never in a relationship with the woman. A woman is in a relationship with us. Right. That's because they are following our lead. Do you understand me? So for for you to feel like like first of all, when man calls in and asks, and for a man to call in and ask if we're anybody on the panel is in a relationship, as if that validates what we're fucking saying, right. doesn't make sense. My nigga, mm. if I was a a nigga just out here single for a uh, motherfucking fifty years, nigga, that doesn't take it away from the game that I'm giving you. You get what I'm right. saying? So what I'm saying is I've been married to the game all my motherfucking life. And I'm sure everybody on the panel feel the same. It's, yes, married to the game. That's the question you should be asking us. When did we get engaged and married to the game, caller? Okay, caller, what are you what are you trying to accomplish with this question? Where where are we going with this? He so think we ain't we're, we're, we're trying, we're trying to no, 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 real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Wait, 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 hold on. Listen, because we're trying to help whoever calls in, not not necessarily give our personal okay. life stories. Give me, give me three places. Give me three places where I could pick up chicks. Oh my god! Uh, uh, caller, caller. It's called it's called Earth. One place. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, put that with. You can find you can find him. You why, can find him why, in the jungle with painted faces. Think, why do these motherfuckers think that it's like a building somewhere that said "pick up bitches here" and then all the bitches go there and then <laughs> you gotta go, like. Yeah. Hey man, you can find them with painted faces in the jungle, nigga. They out there with spears and shit. You do you understand? Hey, you go on a hiking trip, nigga. You think you out there by yourself? Here come a bitch walking by, nigga. They out here. Uh, caller, are you having they trouble finding where? finding places to pick up women? Like, what 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 city no, do you live in? Well, what it means is that I'm so you know I kind of uh, swallowed the red and blue pill, all that crap. Oh, oh my shit. god, that's so no ditty right there. Right. No ditty. I haven't had time to really go out and pursue because everything that I do is more introverted, like uh, developing. Call her. <laughs> bitch, dog, are you serious? You, what does you, developing yourself got to do with women, bro? Man, the fact you taking pills and shit. You a grown ass man taking pills. Hey, hey, call her. So, so let me ask you this question. Uh, when is the last time you pumped gas? Uh, like yesterday. Okay, okay. When is the last time you went to the grocery store? Uh, last night. Okay, so where is the last time that you went on a walk? Uh, 
I don't know. <laughs> well, let me just tell you. You named two two places already. There's women there. Hey, I've met women doing both. Yo, call it. There's a lot of there's a lot of noise in the background. Is, is everything cool? Okay, is this better? He got all that noise. It's probably women right there. Yeah, it sounds he like gotta they're control, women. He got to control his house. It sounds like there's women where you at. Why don't you go talk to one of them? It sounds like they, he pissed they on the it on the phone. Get off the phone, nigga. Right. I think you answered that. You guys uh, keep on doing what you're doing. Really appreciate your work. And um, Mr. Macario, how do I, or who, who was that that was selling that book, How to um, Bag Two Bitches in One, in one Day? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go man, to, you go can't to do that. Com. Go to Mr. Lacroix. <laughs> 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 hey, 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 man, come on. <laughs> Why do these motherfuckers go from like like they act like they can just go from zero to one thousand today? <laughs> right. <laughs> you can't get a. You can't even see a bitch, but you want multiple bitches. I'm, I'm fucked up today. <laughs> All right, we got all right, we got two zero two two zero two. You are on live with the Rookie and Three Panel. Name Eight City. How can we help you? Go ahead. Oh, uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name's uh, Stefan. I'm thirty, um, and then I live in Silver Spring, Maryland. All right, what's going um, on with you? Yeah, so ultimately, uh, I've been uh, dealing with a young lady for about a year now. Mm -hmm. um, haven't been dealing with her exclusively, but you know, fantastic, fantastic woman. I've really been able to shape her the way that I kind of would want the situation to be and kind of mold it in that way. Um, ultimately I am like, I, me personally, I'm looking for like a long-term relationship. Okay. My only thing is I, I, I guess I'm, all, I'm a little curious and it might just be a personal thing. I don't ideally want to have, multiple other women that I'm dealing with sexually. Okay, what do you want? Wanna... Hey, 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 let's keep it simple, yeah. bro. Instead of worrying about yeah. all the shit we don't want, let's just focus on what we want and then turn it into a question so we can help you, okay? Okay. So ultimately, I was going to ask, uh, is, are there any, I guess, recommendations with regards to, like, uh, I guess, keeping yourself just specifically with one woman or is it, or... Do you feel as though people are kind of like fighting that urge when really? All right, call it. Do you want? To, do you do you want to be with multiple women? I don't want to, but I feel like physically, that's kind of where my inclinations lie. Uh, so you no, been, no, no, no. You've been listening to people. You've been listening to people tell you, "Oh, men gotta have all it." You, that's what you've been right. listening to that shit, right? <laughs> What that men have to have multiple women? Yeah, well, yeah. You, that's what you've been listening to, right? No, it's not even that. It's just like I feel like I get bored with the sex sometimes. And okay, so so, so basically, you're so basically, hold on, hold on. So basically, you want you 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 don't want a girl, but you want to fuck other chicks on the side. Is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, I feel like physically, I I have the desire and inclination to fuck. Okay, other so, women. Now, so, now, now, so now, so now, to be able to now. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So now, what I'm asking you is. Is that do you think that you're able to do that though? Like, do you have the skill? Do you have the patience? Do you have the uh, motivation to actually do it? Because it's one thing to want it, but can you do it? And the know how and the heart to deal with it, right? To, to, to execute on dealing with multiple women or to just execute on just being with one woman? To, to multiple, because you said you want to fuck other women. So I'm saying, do you have the. And can you do that? Can you have your, your main girl? So let's say this girl you're seeing, y'all end up being boyfriend, girlfriend, all that other shit. What I'm saying is, yeah. can you can you tell this one? Have, does this woman know that like this yeah. is something that yeah. you might want to do? Well, she knows that I deal with other women. Like she's fully aware. I mean, like she has. No, 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 no. I'm talking about if you get into a relationship where she's your girl. Like does she know that when she's your girl, you're gonna still be fucking other women? But he said he yeah, she, she was, she's aware of that because I mentioned that. I said okay. I don't okay. feel as though I would be able to just be with her sexually. Okay. Let, let me in ask a you. relationship. Like I've okay. told Lauren. that. He lied. The, the woman you with right yeah. now, has she ever had a conversation with you where she expressed the desire for you to be sexually exclusive? Yes. Okay, that's the problem. That's the problem. That's the problem that you're having. 
is you want the girl and you're afraid if you don't commit to being sexually exclusive at some point, you're going to lose her. So what it is, is you're fighting your nature, meaning your nature right. is variety. Your nature is to deal with multiple women, but also you're being pulled from this place over here towards obligated monogamy. And you but don't really want that. He but, said, you call her, you lying. I feel like playing the music, call her. You just said you want one woman, and then you say you're seeing other women with another woman. Didn't you just say that? Didn't you say you're seeing? Because get bored. I know why. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying, I'm saying, how do I put it? I'm saying ideally, like in my mind, right? Like, I would prefer just be a listen, woman. Listen, 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 like, listen, listen. listen. Like, you, let me tell you a problem. Like, let me tell you a problem. You, you, you listening to all this shit, and I know you listening to bullshit. I know you. I can hear it in your voice, motherfucker, so don't lie. Listen. <laughs> Number one, you fucking with women you're not attracted to. You know why? Because you listening to people tell you, you got to get the one that like you more and all this old shit. Let me tell you where that comes from. That comes from pimps. Now, when you a pimp, that applies, right? Because you have to have the upper hand in order to keep getting bread out of bitch. Now, on some square shit, you got to have the upper hand too. But pimps are not, it's not a square, it's not a square type of relationship. You understand what I'm saying? But when you're dealing with a woman in a relationship, you actually have to like her and be mentally connected to her and attracted to her. Or it gets boring because once you had your conquest, what else next? So stop mm -hmm. attaching yourself to women who you don't fucking like and who you're not attracted to. Because if you wrote down on a piece of paper the woman that you wanted and you actually got that woman and she actually stimulated you, you wouldn't get bored, bro. Mm. You understand uh -huh. what I'm saying? I really actually really appreciate that because that's kind of where I've been, oh. where I've been a little bit struggling, right? Like I, like I did have a woman in the past I was highly attracted to, but the values and the goals kind of weren't in the same, weren't in alignment. So keep uh, working on yourself. So, so keep struggling. working on yourself. Keep building on, keep building yourself, make yourself solid. And when you put yourself out there, that's what you'll attract. You understand? And don't be listening to these motherfuckers that say, oh, well, you got to like her more because you're going to simp more. That's only that's a weak motherfucker because I mm -hmm. like I, I love to look at my woman. I love my woman to death. But guess what? i still ain't no bitch. I still ain't no simp. She still ain't finna disrespect me. You understand what I'm saying? So just because I like you or I love you or I'm super attracted to you don't mean I can't snap it real quick. Like, hold on. Who the fuck you talking to? Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So stop listening to yeah. these motherfuckers tell you that you can't control yourself as a man as if mm -hmm. you like a woman or you're attracted to a woman, you're going to somehow lose yourself. Mm -hmm. I, I love, I love, what to I'm who, I love to say who you talking to. I love that one. <laughs> <laughs> who who are you talking to? <laughs> I you call know? Yeah, no, I really appreciate it and, and thanks again for all the advice. Like I've called this mm -hmm. my third time calling in. I right. just appreciate everything. I appreciate all y'all. And shout out to Steve. I know he says he's from the DMV. So right. shout out to everybody. Y'all think oh, he's from the, this guy's from the DMV? Like <laughs> this guy from the DMV? Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, these guys ain't going to help in anything. Nigga, I, I heard a lot of niggas call from them. Y'all be trying to y'all be trying to be players, bro. Y'all not players, bro. You you know if that woman went and go fuck somebody else, your your chest will cave in. You can't and then the woman already told you she want to be exclusive. And so that should tell you something. You understand? That should tell you something. That I hate it, niggas that try to act like. Let, let me tell you something. There, there's a small percentage of niggas that can really be players. You don't have the heart to do that. And these niggas are not right. in the box of that. They're not in the box yeah. of that. Because if she get up and she get up and walk away right now because she can't take it no more, you'll lose your motherfucking mind. Exactly. And if you don't want that to happen, if you can't stomach that, then. Follow your true nature or whatever your true nature is. If it's a million bitches, it's a million bitches. If it's one mm -hmm. in a long-term relationship and as a family man, live through that, bro. You'll be happiest that way. Yeah, right. You know, you know what it sound like? You know what it sound like with that guy? It sounded like it sounded like he was one of these dudes where he he don't know what he wants. And he's right. not really he's not really into the chick. So then he's like, well, maybe I should just fuck with other women. So he's not fucking with other women because he want to fuck with other women. He's fucking with other women because he don't really like that chick. You know what I'm saying? And that's where I mean, the cold part weird. about it is. The cold part yeah. about it is he attached to her now. Mm. Right. You see exactly. what I'm saying? So now when she fucking fuck somebody else, he ain't going to be able to breathe. Right. <laughs> let, me, um, <laughs> let me say this. About a bitch don't even, he ain't even attracted to. <laughs> I don't know how you really it. fucking with a bitch like that if you're not a dragon tour though. But that's what I do. Because, because, because that's what they tell dudes. 
good. It's, they it's tell, they tell dudes that they tell niggas this shit like, oh, you gotta like because she gotta like you more and shit. Now I'm not saying you're supposed to be with a bitch who don't like you or no shit like that. But that whole well, I don't feel nothing for her, but she gotta feel everything for me so it could work. Mm-hmm. That that only worked with pimps, bro. That started pimps start saying that, and then square mm-hmm. niggas get it and think that it applied to them. It don't work like that in the square world. If you want mm-hmm. something to be because it, at the end of the day, that woman is gonna feel that you're not attracted to her. So the mm-hmm. things that she need from you, the type of energy that she need from you. She gonna feel it. She gonna feel that you half assing her. She gonna mm-hmm. feel that you know she's not getting what she need or you're not attracted to her. She gonna mm-hmm. feel like you know she gonna see it in you that it's a chore to kiss on her and love mm-hmm. on her and shit. And guess what she gonna do in three years when you all fucking invested and y'all got kids and everything and you mm-hmm. wonder why they fucking the pool guy. Yeah. <laughs> let me let me let me say this for the, for all the guys listening real quick. Guys, there is nothing wrong with being booed up with one chick, okay? <laughs> yeah. Having a loving relationship where y'all take all y'all little trips together, y'all go to the arcade and take a little picture together and a little joint hug. Ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> y'all niggas go do that. Y'all niggas go do that. If, if, if it ain't in you, stay stay out the kitchen. Mm-hmm. It's hot in the kitchen, bro. That's mm-hmm. where all my scars come from, bro. All my, as a kid, teenager to my 20s, was playing that, doing that shit. And you mm-hmm. got a woman. See, it, it's one thing. See, y'all be, it's the problem y'all be having. Y'all mm-hmm. be having this problem where, you know, the bitch don't be respecting you. She be cursing y'all and she cheat on you and she leave you. That's one thing. But what about a bitch walking away from you that actually provided you value? And, mm. and fucking loved on you and, and was nice to you and, and subservient to you. But she couldn't take it that you was fucking other women. And then she go fuck somebody else because she tired of your shit. That mm. hurts like a motherfucker when, mm. when, when, when a woman is actually, you know, valuable to you. So if you ain't ready to feel that, stay out the kitchen, bro. Because yeah. that's heat. And that's well, they can't, reckon, they that can't recognize value if they don't recognize value in themselves, though, either. Yeah, yeah. Right, it's a fact. It's a fact. Real shit. Exactly. And and that's that's one of the biggest things with even fucking with multiple women, because because mm-hmm. uh, shout out to Lucario, because I heard him, you know, Lucario is, is is the first cat I heard say this, where it's like, why would a bitch share you if you was on, if you ain't worth shit? You, you exactly. Right. Like, like, <laughs> like, he's like, if look, if, if, right. if we got if we got if we got ten million dollars. <laughs> oh, bitches want to share that like like it's nothing. But if I tell you we only got a hundred, bitches be like, I ain't trying to share a hundred dollars with nobody. Right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, Yo, bitch, I'm worth ten million, and, and when mm-hmm. I say I'm worth ten million, not not financially, but I'm worth that much game wise. I'm worth worth that much as a man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you you really got to show a woman where the value is at for her to even agree. To you mm-hmm. know, oh well, yeah, I could be all right with you fucking other bitches because you you just that nigga, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right. So it is. What it is. No, 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 we good on calls. We already on OT. Uh, King Dre, I want to uh, you know, shout out to you for coming through, man. Appreciate you, brother. Real talk, real talk, real talk. King, your 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 joint is uh TikTok, right? That's your uh, name. I'm everywhere, everywhere. Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, okay. King Dreism, K I N G D R E I S M. Or you can you go, go to playersclub.vip, V Players Club, T H E Players Club.vip. I'm all over the place. So right. I appreciate That's y'all for having me on here. I'm cracking up because I watch this shit every Sunday. I'll be cracking <laughs> up. Just like I was cracking up for you, I'll be cracking up every That's fucking Sunday. So, you know, shout out to y'all for having me on here. I'm honored. I appreciate you. I swear I'm <laughs> a long way. So, you know how it go. It's my, it's my nigga, man. Hey, man. Shout out to everybody, man. Uh, gateway to game. Uh, mm-hmm. My name is Mr. 1950. If y'all don't know who I am, I'm the last traditional man on the planet. Man, be traditional, man. It's okay. You know what I mean? Be with one bitch. It's all right. Now, you, most of y'all niggas can't do it, and it's not an insult if I tell you that. A lot of you motherfuckers take that as me calling you a bitch. Nigga, no. You don't have the talent. You don't have the skill. You're right. not that guy like that. But you can be the guy to that one bitch. Nigga, just do that. You know what right. I mean? Uh, I would say this: a lot of these niggas they got the testicular fortitude to deal. Because <laughs> you, know, you know, it is part of the game. Is, part of the game is knowing yourself. So if you're aware of yourself, then you understand what you can handle and what you can't handle. And so exactly. that's the problem with a lot of these guys. They watch the internet and they think they they you know they they trying to put their big boy pants on, but they, that ain't really how they are in real, reality. So. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. A lot of these so. niggas can't can can't take your bra coming in with a new hairstyle that she wore for <laughs> the new nigga. <laughs> I ain't gonna even lie. I can't, so I don't even play like that. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I don't even play like that. Right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, so guys, that has been real game no theory. Remember, uh, go to manhoodisaskillset.com. Go to masculineidentity.com. Go to themanmindset.com. Go to gatewaytogame.com. Go to badboymembership.com, and make sure you check out King Dre at King Dreism all over the place on every platform. That has been real game no theory. God willing, we'll be here next Sunday. Peace and real game no theory. Let's go. Let's-